All right, there we are. Where, where, where are we? Well, we're, we're not anywhere yet. This is an adventure oh, okay. that takes many forms. Oh. Um, the form like right a... now is misery. Yay! Oh. The murky brown black of death. Enjoy! Mm. Delicious uh, death. It was funny, the, um, the comparison I made between Wonder Woman 84, Wonder Woman, and Wonder Woman in um, the Snyder Cut was I was editing a portion about her, and I, I literally went from that one clip to the, the one I showed, and I was like, Jesus Christ, her skin, she's like changed human. What <laughs> happened? Just, yeah, the, uh, <clears throat> the bank scene is like super washed out. Yeah, just watching the clips go back and forth between the two. One had color and one was just... <laughs> I mean, Wonder Woman 84, hmm. as we said, is quite enjoyable. Yeah, it is. I wouldn't want anything to think otherwise. You know, go, go enjoy. I find it more enjoyable than the Snyder Cut. I genuinely don't Definitely. want to get caught dead watching the Snyder Cut again. That would be nice. I would <laughs> gladly never watch that ever. Like, if they drop it into yeah. my coffin, I'm like, hey, that was in my will, okay? No. Roll over, face down. The one, <laughs> the one thing I said with none of that shit. This might be one of those movies that I would pay to make sure I never see it again. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen it too much in that editing bay. It's a nightmare. Um, so, yeah, what we're doing is reading out the EFAP 131 ones. Uh, and then the ones that came in during the unbridled rampage, and then I'll read the ones that come in for today, and that will be that. Um, I'm not going to play a game. I'm going to focus entirely on reading and reacting to whatever the people said, because we're about to find out. Boy, boy. Have excited. Well, funnily enough, the first one says, "Guys, Whedon actually tried. He really did." <laughs> Whedon did actually try. Yeah. <laughs> you can see where he tried. Poor guy. <laughs> Poor lad. I still think you could have tried harder, blinders. but fuck me. It's, yeah, you could have tried harder, no doubt, but wasn't too bad of an attempt, considering what he had to work with. Mm -hmm. Mola beware, the next few weeks will be filled with Snyder drones. It's like, dude, just a day. It's already been... <laughs> It's already been amazing. And um, <laughs> it was funny, Fringy was asked in his stream, like, what's worse, you know, the, the Disney bots or the Snyder bots? And he, like, without even a second, was like, the Snyder people, they're way worse. <laughs> 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 like, have you wow. seen the fucking arguments they've been saying? It's like, oh, yeah. Because the, the, the Star Wars TLJ people were all about them themes. Um, the Snyder people are all over the place because they don't have, like, a unified understanding of what it is to value about the thing. They all got different they ideas. Don't... Yeah, they don't understand movies and how they work. Well, they don't understand what they liked about it. <laughs> like, it's... <laughs> why are you nitpick... Like, it's all... Everything you've heard of. Um, stop nitpicking it. It's not meant to be. Like, that's not the point of it. Like, stop it's using logic to approach it. Um, you just... I've actually... Like, did you, do you remember the fucking live chat? It was like, uh, this this man is lying to you. He's he's a Joss Whedon fad boy. <laughs> it's like, it's just, <laughs> do not trust his lies. Um... Yeah, like, like, uh, they're like, don't you know how many flaws are in the MCU? It's like, no, I, I would have no idea, because I've never <laughs> fucking broken down MCU stuff. Um, it, it's, it's been a ride. My favorite one so far is it's not meant to make sense. That's my favorite one so far. I yeah, love that one. We did have one that said it's not supposed to make sense. It's, uh, it's a fucking superhero movie. The point of it is to, like, explore ideas. So, like, I guess they assumed that because superheroes aren't, like, a real thing, you know, like, like genetic experiments or, or fucking gods and aliens <laughs> and stuff, they're like, so why would you expect anything else to make sense? <laughs> it's like, I don't, I, don't, I don't think that's the way we do it. Internal mm -hmm. consistency. Uh, two words that should be tossed around a lot more. But, a, hey, what are you gonna do? Uh, this one says, ha, we've retaken the holy chat. Hi, Rags. Hi, Shad. No. Hey there. Hello, everyone else, I guess. Special hello to Mola, though. Loved your nunchuck video. <clears throat> My nunchuck video. I don't even know. Yeah, that, that was great. Yeah, I was really good, proud of the little job. nunchuck video. <laughs> <laughs> for, for context, by the way, these are all before the video came out. And this yeah. is before uh, the video was even announced, so they don't even know. No, uh, Shad made a video about nunchucks, I think. Oh, fuck, of course. I, th yeah, I honestly was like, did we do something about nunchucks on the <laughs> I, I just remember, it's like, oh yeah, now that makes sense. Um, I forgot where I lost Uwu versus it's a <laughs> scanner that scans if you have a face. <laughs> <laughs> Did 
Dude. Oh, they're both really bad. Despite um, the absolute fucking dry year we've had for, for media, man, we've had plenty to, uh, to talk about for writing flaws. Holy fuck. It's a bumper crop of bad writing. <laughs> this is an infamous source. I'm so ready for this. Rip and shred it. Tell Gary he's wrong. Remember, this is a movie for adults, and you should clap when you see things. I am. Am I clap when you see things? And hey, man, like fucking. Clap as far as I'm cheeks? aware, I don't well, even know if there is anybody in the fandom menace who didn't like the movie. So. Oh, okay. I well. I don't know. I I haven't looked into. Are they it. allowed to not like it? I. That's a good question. I'm not a hundred percent clear on that because they obviously supporting the the release the Snyder Cut movement. So it comes complicated. Um, <laughs> unfortunately, we don't have that problem because we basically... Yeah, I was about to say, <laughs> I'm so glad that we don't have to deal with that kind of an issue. Um, tear this to pieces, it's terrible. Hey, you know, these, these messages are fun. <laughs> Most painful experience is watching Flash run. I've never understood what <laughs> the, uh, the Flash run's about. They make him go... It, like, floompy is the word for it. It's, yeah. It's very floaty, yeah. yeah it's very slidey. Strange. It's like it's like in a video game when a character's moving way faster than normal, so their running animation is still at its normal pace. So it looks like they're you know, they're just gliding. Um it's really it, odd. Someone in chat said, How did you guys not like it? Like <laughs> <laughs> I I released a video, uh it might help. Um alleviate the, the confusion oh they also followed up with um, I love how you think yourself above the fandom menace all I said was that they have reasons to try and avoid shitting all over it uh, we don't we, we will do whatever we want for example if Metal made a movie and it was terrible I probably wouldn't want to fucking make a video ripping it to shreds I'd feel a little bit bad about it because um, <laughs> unfortunately yeah. I'm biased toward Metal I kind of like him ew that's what happens, and so we all pick and choose the battles we wish to fight. Um, I thought, like, like I've tried to make it clear to people, but like the reason why I wanted to cover this one is because I just saw a tidal wave of praise, and it was bizarre for us because we just came out of watching it like, um, what the hell? <laughs> that was yeah. supposed to be good. Uh, mm. Dark side forgetting Earth. Mother box is opening only when Supes dies. Diana endangering the lives of civilians. So much is wrong with this movie. This is before any analysis happened. This person, these people are saying this shit already. I'm, I'm, I'm happy about that. Good stuff. <laughs> um, Southpaw gets undeserved hate. He deserves more love. Good man, poor. Also high rags. Hey. Oh, they said then never mind crying face because you weren't there. But that's uh, you oh, know what? Yeah. You were missed, and that's that's what's important. It was a um, sad day indeed. Uh, yeah, Southpaw does a lot of good work. He gets a shit ton of hatred. However, he responds to so much of it that um, I think that annoys people even more. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. They see it and they're like, "This guy is responding to my criticism. I hate him." I mean, I used to get that quite a bit. Um, How I mostly dare try you. and do memes. I was just memes. yelling in the vo at the void. You bastard! Uh, How the hell did Diabito outlast Lindsay Ellis? Yeah, she uh, <laughs> she deleted her Twitter. Um, wow. I, I don't know if she's gonna... D does anyone know how Twitter works? Can you delete it and just bring it back at will? Or, or is that like a... I think so. I think you can like reactivate it. Yeah, I yeah. think. Well, I'd expect she would just do that eventually. I don't know. Um, but I, I think she probably did that because um, she doesn't know what tweets are out there. And so I think if you delete your Twitter, you can no longer access all the tweets she's got. Is probably the the thing she's doing it for, but I think she said that she has an auto delete on uh, tweets after I think something like two months. I think she said I can't remember. I watched her um, uh, what it was XO talk or whatever. Uh, I don't remember. We'll get a good movie with Batfleck and Cavill soups. Oh, we'll never get one. Yeah, probably not. Yeah. Um, and that's the sad thing for me with this reboot they're doing with JJ is that um, probably means we're never gonna get. Uh, Henry Superman again, which sucks because that man deserves to play Superman at least one time. Please, <laughs> like, I beg yeah. you. Yeah, let him I act. Feel, I feel bad, man. Yeah. I feel bad that he had to play that Superman. <clears throat> um, just watched Lord of the Rings for the first time, and it's the best work of fiction I have seen in my life. Jay, get your ass in gear. <laughs> yeah, Jay. <laughs> um, Jay. 
I do have a little bit of a of a of a jealousy of people who haven't seen it before because that shit is fucking awesome to watch for the first time. Yeah, mm-hmm. I wish I could go back and watch it for my first time again. Um, Southpaw, it was amazing when you called into that stream. Laugh my ass off. I believe because I saw a clip on <clears throat> Twitter. He called into someone saying that um. So someone was running a show where they said the Snyder Cut was flawless, and they were taking calls, and he came in and asked a couple of questions, and I think the guy hung up on him. I can't oh, remember. really? I think so. I don't... Oh, I saw a, a that, clip, but I was really? just laughing at it. Oh, yeah, I'd I, love to see that. He, um, he did that before. I saw a clip of that where, where someone disagreed with him, and then he got hung up on. <laughs> I was like, oh, ask me anything except those things, because well, then I'm going to hang up on you. Right, was, imagine uh, taking the position... That the Snyder Cut is flawless. Flawless. <laughs> not even good. Not even not even decent. Flawless. flawless. Without flaw. Most people uh, don't know what they're saying. That is insane. Uh, Weird Rags isn't here, but this time he doesn't have to be annoyed by hearing another reminder for you Dumbos to play Doki Doki Literature Club. Oh, how wrong <laughs> you are. He just <laughs> said it. Uh, <laughs> You know how this works. <laughs> you know, um, hear it eventually. Read Mauler, colon, Bounty Hunter on Amazon. Oh, okay, right. Dedicated to the man that turned me from a writer into an author. Starfight. Oh, wait, they want me to read that, I guess. Um, <clears throat> maybe, maybe one day. Uh, gonna skip this EFAP for now, because I want to see this phenomenon for myself, but have a great stream, guys. Also, hi, Rags. Hey um, there. Wait, where's our favorite doggo? <laughs> He's right there. I was I'm I'm here now. Yeah. I'm here now. Uh the highly praised Attack on Titan just pulled a Luke and TLJ with their main character and there's one episode left to air. Everyone is praising it though. I I don't watch any of it. I'm sorry. Should have asked like in a week because then I probably watched it. There you go. <laughs> Get Metal's uh input. Uh, that'd be great. Um Oh, I also need to watch that one video that says it's fascist or something. I, don't, I forgot what it was. Oh, that. you talking about the Just Right one? Yeah, uh, a lot I, of people I, didn't like that. <laughs> Dev said it was really bad. Dude, everybody I, I know said they fucking hated that video. <laughs> oh, yeah, wait, where is I, it? I, oh, no, did he take it down? Oh, I wanted to oh, watch it. Oh, you took it down. I wanted to watch oh. it after I watched the thing. Oh, damn it. I was actually thinking about watching it on stream. <laughs> But just right. <laughs> oh, My content. No. God damn it. Oh well. Uh, I wonder if he left like a tweet explaining why. I don't know. Uh, 20, 24 minutes and 7 seconds of this movie are all slow motion. Uh, no, I think you mean it's all art. Idiot. Snyder vision. Snyder. Coming to get your is that, slow mo. Is that like a superpower? Snyder vision? Snyder vision? It's just everything <laughs> slow mo and grayscale. It's dark. <laughs> they shorten it to snision. <laughs> it's just like, that doesn't sound very good. It's like, it's like, yeah, well, we're branding it that way, okay? Snision. Snision. Uh, like snision. Got into a debate with someone about how bad the writing is here, and someone argued that plot holes aren't bad writing. What the fuck? How do these people exist? <laughs> It's very simple, they don't have any standard. And I don't mean that to be like some kind of bitter thing, but like they basically just see it as They don't like, have a standard. Yeah, that they don't. They don't and they would they would yeah. say the same thing. They're just like, well no, it's just whether or not I like it. Like you crazy person, why do you think plot holes decide whether or not it's any good? It's like, I know what you mean. I see that with my my friends all, all the time when they talk about movies. Like I feel like it's always either um yeah, that wasn't the best thing, but I was entertained. Or I was like, oh yeah, that was good. I was like, never, oh, that was shit. I don't think I ever heard any one of my friends say that the movie is shit. Um, uh, Cyborg's dag making Cyborg OP is worse than Tony giving Peter access to all of Stark Industries' weapons, etc. Um, yeah, like, like that is an issue I yeah, take probably. far from yeah. home, the whole Edith thing. That was... Uh, that was a miss, <laughs> writing-wise. Uh, but Cyborg's dad explains that he can control everybody <laughs> and everything on Earth. <laughs> it's like, oh. That's, and we'll that's see a... how you deal with it, son. Good like, luck, ah, bye. Well, maybe. I don't know. It's, uh, yeah, and the film even outright states, like, this is going to be hard for you to deal with, and then just doesn't deal with it. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> okay. Thank you. 
We'll, um, we're going to tease that for yet another Snyderverse movie that'll definitely come out. <laughs> I'm sure it will. Put it on the list of teases. Uh, Lindsay Jeez. Alice getting cancelled funny as fuck. So, the thing I find amusing about it, I guess, is her whole talk about getting cancelled on the XO thing was all about the right cancelling her and how bad that is. And I'm pretty sure this is all the left that's doing this this time. Oh yeah, the right, they don't, they don't give a fuck. They um, just think it's fucking hilarious. Well, yeah, because I was shown the tweets, and I was like, oh, that's not anything, really. <laughs> yeah, the like, tweets oh. are nothing. The tweets are the most... You would have no idea what tweet she apparently got canceled for unless it was pointed out to you. And only crazy lefties would have a problem with anything she said. Uh, why is it that Warner Brothers caves when Snyder fans demand something that'll be rubbish, but companies are silent when fans demand something good? Well, so I don't think anybody's ever going to know the full picture behind why this was done, but, you know, people on the pro side of it are like, finally, they listen to the fans. People on the more cynical side are like, well, no, they just wanted to make more money, and this was something they could easily do, just toss in yeah. the extra money to get it fixed and finished. Yeah, they did it because it was going to make money. Because, yeah. you know... I mean, it makes sense to me. Um, I don't... The idea that, like, a company was like, you know what, it's the right thing to do, guys. It's like, I, I doubt that was, like, I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know if that was it. Yeah, that's uh, unlikely. I don't give a fuck about that. Um, early on, I was thinking it was better. Midway through, the meh feeling took over. Ended up texting a friend saying, maybe I just don't care. Glad to hear there was hate after so much praise. <laughs> um, we pretty think... early on had kind of, I think we were like a, th a quarter of the way through, maybe sub one hour mark. We'd said, this is just already worse. I can't remember how long it took us, because obviously we'll find out once the, the, the cut comes out. Oh, sorry, the mm -hmm. movie. I think uh, it was reaction. sub one hour. I, did we did we conclude it made an improvement before, a, like, was it a pro before a con? I can't remember. I think we had a con I first. think it was con first, yeah. and then we gave it a chance because you know it's a lot of movie left, and it never rode. Yeah, and I think because I remember Southpaw sort of like reiterating it. We had found a couple of things that we were like, "Oh, that's better," you know. We were like, "Oh, they made they did that. That's, that's an improvement." But Maybe. then I might be misremembering. Um, but I yeah. think it was still mostly negative. Uh, but of course, like. <sighs> This sounds so like lame, but it's just like we have nothing to lose or gain about this. We just watched it, mm. and we were like, "Oh man, we just watched that other version, and it was better." <laughs> like, yeah. the... Well, we had predicted that it would uh, that it would be better. Like I, well, at least that was my prediction. Yeah. I think we'd all either predicted it would be the same or slightly better. Yeah, that's certainly what I thought. I thought it would be slightly better. I think I said but that possibly I, I, worse. Yeah, I lean more to be... being better, but yeah. Yeah, I said it'd be slightly better, but it probably wouldn't be worse. But if it was worse, I wouldn't be surprised. And here we are. Here we are. Here um, we are. We have arrived. And yeah, I, I guess uh, it was surprising to all of us, but we, I think we'd said like, oh man, there's going to be so much slow mo and so much bloat. We were very much right on that part. Nailed it. Um, uh, just gonna say, if you're in chat and you hate something when Southpaw says something, but when Mola says that you're happy with it, please get a life. I mean, yeah. Sounds like pretty normal logic. <laughs> uh, the True Justice League, from the director of Shadow the Hedgehog vs. DMC Reboot, <coughs> Dante, Dawn of Lincoln Park AMVs, now with 50% more edge, also high rags. Hey! That's a lot of edge, I like it. I was gonna say, you could, could throw it in, uh, throw in a Darksaber, maybe. Mmm, mm, that's mm, pretty edgy. Give it a bit of a bit of taste. Hello, if Adam is here to read this, I wanted to know, I think all the hate he's getting is silly. Um, so that is in regards to uh, Adam gave the Indiana Jones movies, I think he gave them a 4-5-6. Um, oh, YMS? Yeah, I heard about that. Um, I mean, I, I, until I know what his arguments are, I don't really, you know, <laughs> I just mm -hmm. feel like it's a number, it's like, whatever. Um, but his, his fan base were very upset. Uh, and I think he put out a tweet saying, like, if you get annoyed because someone slapped a, a number onto something and that, like, pisses you off, you're pathetic, I think, and he pissed them off again. I, 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 <laughs> I had to try and piece it together, but I, like, don't care that much at all. I was just Yeah, I don't like, really huh. care. It's just, like, uh, I mean, I think he's wrong, but... Yeah, like, uh, okay. <laughs> I haven't seen like, the, right, the Indiana Jones trilogy in a while now, but, um, 
fuck me, those movies were amazing uh, when I <laughs> watched them the last mm-hmm. time. So, you know, uh, all I remember is Temple of Doom is, like, weird. Um, but I adore... It sort of stands out, yeah, yeah. But even I think that one's good. Well, yeah, maybe we should do an EFAP arc for that sometime. It'd be fun. I'd love that. Good movies. <laughs> good no. movies? What the fuck? That's, um... We don't do that here. That's, that's, uh, we hate everything. That's no good movies. Uh, I love everyone's Justice League avatars. It does need Wonder Rags, though, to be complete. Well, look at that. Well, holy do do do. Good God. Uh, uh, Justice League. Organize. Organize. <laughs> Organize. That's how catchphrase, okay? Um, the more I think about this movie, the more angry and cynical I get about movies in general. Yeah, we're, we're not in a great state. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Let's just say we're not going to run out of content anytime soon. No. Mm-hmm. Uh, EFAP movie Suicide Squad when? I believe Meme Repository's next thing he's working on is the Snyder Cut EFAP movies. So it'll be after that or before that. Can't say right now. That man deserves a rest. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, he does. Uh, Morley, make Southpaw watch Whiplash. He did. He did. And I a... do. Yeah, we with the four of us saw it. Well, I think um, Jay Fringy, you and I. We watched it. I forget. How long ago was that now? I wanna, I, I don't, it wasn't months, right? It was weeks? I want to say weeks. Something like that. It could have been months. I can't remember. Time is all flimsy. I think um, it is months, yeah. But yeah, Whiplash is a movie I've seen, I think, like seven or eight times. I fucking love it. I think it's fantastic. Uh, I show as many people as, of it as I can where I can, like a lot of movies, and apparently uh, Southpaw watched it relatively recently and thought it was fantastic from what, from what I know, so... Yes, everyone go watch Whiplash. It's fucking good. Fine, I'll do it. Uh, finally, after listening to Snyder Sims for two weeks, we get the correct takes. Hey, look, <sighs> we, uh, I needed a lot of time to collect the notes, alright, and... What you get from EFAP is whether it made sense. And this is the thing that's kind of surprising me about some people in my own fan base, where they're like, what? You're breaking this down with logic? This is not a movie you do that with. And you're like, oh. Oh, okay. that's not, that's not a, you don't, you didn't, you're not doing a good job defending your movie. <laughs> <laughs> didn't, didn't see that disclaimer. Uh, I know DC rebooting itself is a meme, but maybe the cinematic movie should get rebooted. Maybe with a 50s Justice League Alliance? I don't know if that's a JLA aesthetic. Um, I don't know that anyone in the EFAP community wouldn't fucking slam down on a button that makes the DCEU reset. Like, easily. There is no reason not no to slap question. that button. <laughs> there is virtually nothing of value. Like, I almost want the MCU to reset, and there's plenty of stuff in there that's still okay. So, you know, um,. Yeah. But I don't know how long that's going to last. Um, I'm fairly displeased with Falcon and the Winter Soldier thus far. The dialogue's pretty bad at times. Every character sucks except the two mains. I'm going to keep watching, but Bucky's story is the only interesting part right now. Well, we haven't watched any of it, as far as I know, for Rags and Metal. Nope. Um, but I plan to. Probably tomorrow I'll watch, start watching some of it, because uh, today has been more so the, um, the aftermath day of having put out... <laughs> A video that was liked by some, <laughs> not liked by others. No. Maybe a hot take, but from the trailer, but uh, I don't know if James Gunn's Suicide Squad will be good. I hope it is, but the trailer reminds me a lot of Birds of Prey. Uh, either of you seen that trailer? No, I haven't. I, I tend to avoid trailers. I think that's fair. I get suckered in every once in a while if I'm in the right place at the right time. Enough. I just sort of go... Uh, wait, wait which, which trailer now for... Uh... The Suicide Squad. Yeah, so it look, looks, looks fun, I um, guess. Yeah. Yeah, I I am invested. Um, I don't want to say anything more. I wouldn't mind showing Rags it, see what he thinks. Um, the cool part is that it's a sequel to Suicide Squad, Rags, which is enough to sell you on it, right? Mm-hmm. I can't wait to get more <laughs> Suicide Squad. I know it. Remind me of that, okay? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to type it into our group chat. Uh, watch trailer for Suicide Squad. There we go. Wow, and here I was thinking calling it a 5 out of 10 was a hot take. Um, I did really like the movie, but it is quite oof. Yeah, I would not glorify the movie with a 5 out of 10. That's a uh, bit much. <laughs> it wishes it could reach that that height, you know? Not quite. Um, 
Also, the identity politics of Falcon and the Winter Soldier is on the level of Batwoman. Oh my. Oh really? Damn, that's <laughs> bad. Batwoman's because uh... Batwoman's <laughs> is like it is marinated in it. It's inundated in it. That that's what Batwoman is. I was gonna say Batwoman was probably created specifically for that. So, um. Yeah, I mean, I haven't seen a lot of takes on what when it's the thing in Winter Soldier. I don't know if it's a subconscious avoiding of them or just because uh, Snyder Cut's kind of sort of eclipsed it on people talking online. But I'm sure by the time it reaches its last episode, um, everyone will be talking about it, and hopefully, I will have seen them by then. Uh, I think I understand why Adam likes to come here. He's a steampunk. All right. Uh. A steampunk? I'm not quite sure. Why would... EFAB? Steampunk? Uh, what's the connection? Hmm. For real though, glad to see you here, Adam. Um, yeah, yeah. It, was, it was fun having him on. He, um, he was not a fan of the Snyder Cut either. <laughs> no, he wasn't. I've, I've listened to uh, all the parts of him in Shad. I did like the first two hours of the EFAP I missed so far. Mm -hmm. Gotta finish the rest later. The Speed Force, which gives Flash his powers, protects him and the environment from him when he runs. Otherwise, when he goes light speed, he would create nuclear fission by running. Um, yeah, it's just weird that uh, his shoes break apart, but nothing else does. When they even break from like above his feet, if you know what I mean. And then, of course, mm -hmm. what he's doing to the ground, what he's doing to the glass. At that, if you want to establish that that's the case, then he cannot be hurt while he's in the, the Speed Force, correct? Yo. Uh, even though he's blasted out by a laser. Um, so I don't yeah, know. that I, I guy don't, hit a... I don't, yeah, I don't, that, I don't quite gunner. I don't, do not get it. Uh, also, I don't think they mentioned that in the movie at all. Which would be useful, you know, to understand what the fuck's happening. Uh, hope you enjoy the second best holiday in a week. Is that Thanksgiving? Easter? Oh shit! Yeah. Oh so, fuck! Of course. I I already I I listened to this as if it had passed. I was like, "What one has come recently?" But yes, Easter is obviously. Um, Easter's pretty fine. I, I don't I don't hate Easter. You know. It's yeah, fine. Easter's good. You know, hunting like for Easter. eggs. It's, it's, it's a pastime that we should keep alive. You know, it's important. Yeah, the Easter Bunny Easter shitting out all those sweet. eggs. <clears throat> That's hot. Um, yes, Chad, Very you bring up a cool. good point on hindsight. Uh, that was Chad talking about how. How isn't the Snyder Cut better with this many years of hindsight? It's like, yeah, completely agreed. Because he has, he's not talented, <laughs> and he has a bad vision. I mean, that, that might explain there it, it is. Sorry, y'all. He's just not good at what he does. If you uh, think otherwise, you're just deluded. Yo, Southpaw is precisely your catchphrase now. Like, I've heard you say it over 50 times the last three streams uh, you've been on. Um, wow, that's a lot. I mean, I, I, I find there's words I rely on a lot. I don't, I don't really... Like the and a and and. Do you know what word chat relies on? They say hi a lot. And in regards to they you, do. I've noticed. <clears throat> so, I don't know about this. Yeah, like his, his takes are so just transcendent. He is, mm -hmm. he is high above us. Yes. He's like a, a guy. He's like Superman. He's like Jesus. Uh, Willem Dafoe makes this canonically the Lighthouse 2 change my mind. No, we don't want it to be the Lighthouse 2. No. The Lighthouse is good and interesting. <laughs> I don't want uh, his fate to have been ending up in this universe. <laughs> That's way worse than being stuck on that island. Um, I EFAPed ER's Life is Strange video. It's as garbage as I remembered, and that apparently means that he lives in my head rent free. I wonder what they'd say if a non beloved YouTuber. If it's a non-beloved YouTuber. Well, I get that. Um, <clears throat> we used to get that fucking all the time, no matter who we covered. We'd be like, rent free! It's like, I mean, interested to see what they say. cover you on an EFAP and then carry on with our lives, but... I mean, yeah. <laughs> whatever makes you feel like you have more value. Well, it's, at this point, it's just like, how many people are living in my head? Jesus. <laughs> it's it's, it's not crowded in there. Yeah. My head's like an apartment. Um, and high rags. Hey! Uh... Oop, oop. Life is Strange isn't good, but most points against it suck. I honestly wouldn't know any better. I only played it the one time ages ago, and I was not having fun. Um, Snyder cut off Jeremy's balls. Oh my god. Oh my goodness <laughs> I hope he's okay. Jeez. <laughs> it's a um, lot of blood. 
Can't see all pictures. Reformat. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, YMS, do a Life is Strange series review, please. You're fun. Oh, fun E. He is funny. Uh, I agree with that. YMS can be very funny. He can indeed. I love how they redid Kal-El No and it still sounds bad. <laughs> Yeah. They thought that it was. They thought it was bad enough to redo, and yet they were satisfied with this version. Well, so either they used a, an old take that was different from the one Joss chose, or they had her do ADR, and I don't know which is funnier. But they're both pretty funny. It is pretty funny. Uh, Warner Brothers should give me the rise to make the movies. I can make better movies than all of them just by following the comics and changing a few places so it makes sense. Um, I don't think they're going to do that, though. Warner Brothers probably aren't going to drop $100 million on uh, a random person to make a movie. They're going to want a visionary like Zack Snyder. Or J.J. Abrams. You do know that that's apparently where the DC's heading now. We're going to get movies made by J.J. Abrams instead. Yay! <laughs> it's, it's like, oh, gee. Excitement. Uh, I mean, J.J. Abrams movies are... I'd rather watch a J.J. Abrams movie than a Zack Snyder movie. Um, well, I said, uh, I think it was either on Metal or Frank Stream, um, I'm willing to give him a shot. Zack has had three tries. That's that's out. Yeah. Three strikes, you're I out. Mean, yeah, sure, why not? Uh, Go JJ, for it. I don't know, maybe he's really passionate about Superman, and maybe J.J. can... Uh, Make something, but um, Maybe. I don't expect JJ to make something good. Don't worry. JJ doesn't strike me as the person who's actually passionate about anything. No, <laughs> he's passionate about being passionate. Yes, but that doesn't like translate into actual passion. It's like I'm in love with being in love, not with a person. And so. Uh, maybe Superman is the exception. You know, maybe he's obsessed and he, he's always wanted to make a Superman movie because he's just so into the comics and just wants to make a good Superman. Who knows? We shall find out. Uh, how do I recommend a video for review? If this is the place, it's Cinema Theory's video on Kylo Ren. Oh, Cinema Therapy, sorry. Um, I mean, I can maybe try and give it a look-see at some point, see if it might work. We haven't done Star Wars in a while now. Been, uh... Oh, yeah, we haven't. Busy with other things oh. being shit, like the MCU and the DCEU. <laughs> There's old faithful Star Wars over there. Uh, Angry Joe said in his The Falcon and the Winter Soldier Episode 2 review that he thought Captain America was bulletproof and didn't use a gun. Why do people watch him? Oh, Based yeah, because uh, Angry Joe, uh, Captain America does both of those things. Yeah, he is, well, um, he is not bulletproof. Yeah, sorry. He's bullet resistant. <laughs> He can he can tank shots to a better degree than a human, but uh, not bulletproof. They're still yeah. If he gets shot in the face, he's probably dead. Yes, and um, he totally used a gun in First Avenger. Uh, I remember that shot. He bursts through like two doorways, and he's just uh, shooting with the shield. I think it's uh... yeah, man. He was you know he's he's a he's a soldier through and through. Uh... Did you enjoy Floompus League? If so, favorite part? N no. <laughs> the end, when I could no. do something else. That's a good answer. Um, how do I, what, do we, what do we even... Favorite part of it? Probably Alfred, like, genuine answer. Yeah, probably mm. Alfred. I like seeing him. It might be because I really like Jeremy Irons. I'm a bit biased to him. That guy is a legend in, like, every movie he's in, including... And possibly the greatest performance being Dungeons and Dragons. I don't want anyone taking that away from him. But um, yeah, that would be a genuine enjoyment. I think that when he says that Bruce would probably be more insufferable if he had more money, I was just like, <laughs> that was good. Uh, I'm trying to think of anything else. Uh, what did I mention in my review? I think that it was... Yeah, no, I think I'm having the same problem as my fucking video, where I can't remember what I thought was any good, because there was so much shit in it. What about the Batman Wonder Woman chat? Oh, well, they were talking about the Snyder Cut, I think. Oh, yeah, they removed that. Fuck. Um, <laughs> uh, <sighs> yeah, some of the Alfred lines were funny. Yeah. They got rid of the Batcave line, which was obviously Devastating, an incredible correct. mistake. Huge dent on the credibility of his filmmaking <laughs> talent. Uh, 
See, that's the thing. Did he have access to Joss's footage, or was he not allowed? Was he not allowed to use it, or did he just decide I will absolutely not fucking use anything made by Joss? In which case, I'd just be like, I think mean, surely he did have access to it, right? Sure. I would, I would have thought, and I'd just be like, mate, may as well check it out just to see if any of it's useful, right? Even if you have completely different ideas of what should be done in your story, you might want to be like, oh, there might be a shot in here I can use. I don't yeah. Know. The did he say he didn't watch the? Uh... Well, that's the what I've Justice been told version? is that he never watched any of the Justice League. So, I don't, I don't believe that. <laughs> I don't know. Um, Soapy, shut up! No one here cares about Life is Strange. Wow, that's that's. Oh there's got to be some people that care about it. I just I don't remember it really at all. Uh, did you enjoy? Oh wait, yeah. Blah, blah, blah. So, are we putting up missing dog posters for rags or something? Oh, he wasn't missing. He was, uh... Yeah, I am accounted for. Yeah, yeah. The only thing I missed was the EFAP. Which, uh... He, he was missed, but at the same time, you know, I, I, I think talking more about Snyder Cut, we're, we're gonna have so many more opportunities for it. It's just the beginning, yeah. I'm sure. There's no way that my video is not gonna be responded to by basically every person who likes the Snyder Cut, I imagine. <laughs> Um, yeah, I'm I'm interested to see what people's attempts at arguments are. That's going to be great. Uh, Wonderful. Turns out we will get the Jackson cut of Lord of the Rings, uh, which will be shot in the same style as 24. Oh, God. Michael Jackson? I could only hope. Michael Jackson's Lord of the Rings? I think we'd all be on board with checking that out, right? Imagine the music. Uh, the repercussions of Flash reversing time are the nightmare scenes, I think. That future will now come to pass. Oh no! That will come to pass instead of the world getting wiped out? Why would... I mean, that's still better. <laughs> also, how would Flash know that? And why How would... does that work? And we wouldn't know that. How does reversing time set one set of time... What, set something in stone for what will happen? That's also a very good point. Um, I guess... The only way to avoid the nightmare sequence from happening is to allow the world to be completely terraformed and every human being to be turned into a parademon. <laughs> it's like, um... But, um, I, th that wasn't translated, like, at all. And also, that wouldn't be a repercussion in the way that I'm talking about with time travel. So, for example, if, if you know, two people are falling onto, like, a... In the, in the way of a road, and they're gonna get hit by a car, I saved one. And it's like, you could now reverse time and save the other, but that one that you did save ends up going through. Like, it's just, um... You're allowed to undo what just happened, but if another future happens where something bad goes... goes, you know, Wait, why wouldn't you reverse the next Nightmare one? Yeah, just keep reversing till you get the one you want. That's, that's, sorry, my brain's a little bit wonky. I'm trying to get this out uh, the most coherent way possible. But I, my main point is, he can reverse time and nothing will happen as a result. So the next time this all goes wrong, could he not simply reverse time a very long way and uh, find out what happened and then go and stop it? Because this is going to be an origin point, I presume. And he can basically kill everybody. Um, yeah. Um, what a what a lame sort of like because Endgame only just did it, you know, fucking around with time to the point where you just the whole movie falls apart, and then Snyder Cut does it as well. <sighs> Superhero universes, man, they just want to jump into time travel as soon as possible. I say that Endgame took what eighteen, eight years, nine years? How, when was that? Twenty twenty, twenty nineteen, right? I think um, so. But yeah, uh, we we talked about it on the stream a little bit, but like examples would be. Um, it puts a strain on him to the point where he's like feeling intense pain, or he's uh, bleeding out of his different parts, or reversing time will like further deal damage overall to like the stability of the universe or something. And he can he's only going to be able to do it for so long before something horrible is going to happen, or it literally ages him up, or it'll kill him. All standard choices, I think, for a writer to try and make so that the choice is really meaningful. Um, but they kind of made it so that he could just do it, and um, it's interesting because it's presented to the audience as uh, things get weird. As a rule, I don't do it. So like, it's a setup with a payoff. He's going to use it, but then there's nothing to say why he wouldn't have anyway, and that's just yeah. Sort it of it makes a claim that isn't substantiated. 
In fact, it's kind of implied that there are no negative mm -hmm. aspects at all. Yeah. Um, and I guess... Um, it's, 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 it's the scene itself, the, the glory of the scene, that prevents it from getting the obvious criticism, I would say, of just being like, oh, this is, um, this is nothing, really. Like, the image is Yeah, very... it's very visually interesting. It's nifty aesthetically. The yeah, music yeah. is kind of cool, and the, the, the visuals are strange, and all kind of, you know, very interesting. Doesn't make any fucking sense. Is a big problem for stakes going forward. I just, I, I'm trying to think, because this to me is still more satisfying, because it's a, uh, like, so I was going to say, like, oh, it's like a character saying, you know, this is my pistol, I've got seven rounds in it, and you're like, okay, as a rule, I don't shoot it. Uh, okay. And at the end, everyone's about to die because someone's about to press a button that kills everyone, and then they're a little bit far away, so they pull out their gun and shoot it and kill them, and we're all just like, oh. Hmm. Well. There we go. All then. right, then. But even yeah. that, I would be like, maybe, depending on how the guy's been characterized, he never kills anyone, so that would still be meaningful. <laughs> like, he had to end a life in order to save everyone else. It's like, oh, that's the Something. Thing. Um, yeah, I don't know. Uh, they uh, went on to say, also, the scene looked great. And yeah, and I think that's why people like that scene. It looked great. And, uh, that's cool. A lot of stuff looked great in Endgame. A lot of stuff... Didn't look great in Endgame as well from memory, but... What are you gonna do? Uh, what's up with these heroes destroying stuff around them when they save someone? I.e. Wonder Woman with a bank and Flash with a store window? Um... They, I'm okay. They're just not good I'm heroes. okay with him destroying the store window. Uh, but I'm not okay with everything else in that scene. Yeah, like the if you, Wonder Woman... Yeah, the Wonder Woman stuff... The, the Wonder Woman stuff was insane. Weird, yeah, that one was really, really nuts. Uh, you could just open the door, though, and walk through. I don't know. Well, because if you're in... Not that this is a problem, but, like, unless he opens it slowly, would it not create, like, a... I wonder if the the speed in which he's opening it in real time, as a result of doing it while he's, like, in Speed Force, would make it smash anyway? I don't know. Well, he saves he saves her in slow-mo. Oh, of course. I, I guess I mean because he would want to just pull it and go through... But if he was to bring it open slowly, that would probably be okay, kind of like how he does with her. I think if he just opened it normally from his perspective, it'd probably be okay. Yeah. I guess. Because um, if he can interact with the wieners, and those are really soft, <laughs> and he could pull those around, and they don't break apart or separate, then it should be okay. And so just said, what's the point of braces if she's bulletproof? It's like, I don't fucking know. <laughs> I don't she's even... not bulletproof though <laughs> from what right? we've been showed uh, she's never been well see because that's the thing when she was depowered in Wonder Woman 84 it still didn't like penetrate it only scarred her if it was, it was I think it was her. I think it grazed her yeah and that was when she was losing her powers so it's it's all so very... yeah why bother using the bracers is it just not comfortable because if someone was like well you don't want to be shot right it's like well sure but I just I'm not clear on the stakes I guess I don't know why didn't she use her shield? Does she not have the shield anymore? Uh, and it's also funny because all of the shrapnel is going to be splattering across all those people, but it's... <laughs> oh, right. Yeah. Uh, so Mola just wants to ignore visual storytelling that tells us Flash's durability to say that the Flash has normal human-level durability. Okay, bro, whatever you say. Uh, no, that's from the fact that he got injured twice. Yeah. Um, by something. The first one was a shot that went right past him. And the second one was an enormous blast that apparently only did the same thing. It was very strange, but uh, yeah, he definitely has um, normal human durability from what I've seen there. Yeah. Um, they never state otherwise, so I feel like I'm going from the visuals and you're not. But because when he crashes into like Aquaman, he gets when he crashes into Aquaman, he gets like implanted into the stone stairs. Yep. I don't understand what the fuck his durability is, and I thought that the appeal of Flash was that he's a normal guy with the speed force allowing him to, like, as a protective shield to move through time really fast, and so if he was to get shot or hit or whatever by something, then it's kind of scary for the audience because he will take damage. He's a dash cannon. But I, yeah, I do not know. Uh, Flash maybe maybe Snyder could be clearer with that, or that were less contradictory, so that we don't have to have these discussions where we're trying to figure out 
the you know what's going on with our heroes i mean it's it's, it's all of them right all the people in the fucking the dceu they all do it with the heroes we don't know what their like abilities really are a lot of the time yeah i mean um, superman pulled his ice breath from his ass yeah uh, uh, Flash's time ability can work narratively only if all future villains account for it and treat him like the biggest threat. Not that that would happen. I don't even know that you can, even with that. You can. This is the problem with Doctor Strange, by the way. It's like, if you can always reverse time, how does someone deal with you outside of being able to just assassinate you before the fight starts? Like, I, don't, I don't see how, you, how they're going to work around that. They're going to have to do the Holdo thing. Like, honestly, because the Flash movie's happening, from what I know, they're probably going to be like... Uh, It'll someone, probably be fun. Someone will talk to him, like a friend or, or you know, a, a parent figure, and he's going to talk about his powers and how amazing it was to get them and how he did something he shouldn't have in the... in. Oh, well, I, I don't even think Joss... Joss I wanted canon, to see right? how fast I could really go. I was about to say, like, uh, Snyder Cut's not even canon, so he didn't go back in time at all if if Justice League is the one that they're doing. So, in the Flash movie, they're probably going to explain that it is something he can do, but it has major consequences, because yeah. if they fuck it up again, <laughs> it's going to be amazing. But Yeah, if they, if they had explained it, I can believe that he would, regardless of the, the consequences, where if the world is blowing up, you'd want to use it. Um, but, uh... Yeah, I, I I shudder to think about what will be explained. Yeah. Um, so you got fuck, marry, kill the OT Luke Leia Han. Um, kill Luke because he gets to come back as an incredible Force ghost, which is basically better than even being alive. <laughs> uh, fuck Leia, marry Han. There you go. I. I, I don't even know, because I guess I'll, I, I kind of want to marry Luke. I'm, I want to hang out with him a whole bunch. Uh, fuck Larry and I guess kill Han. Sorry, Han. Love you, buddy. Because uh, with Han, you get to hang out with, like, Chewbacca, too. True. True. Go have... around the Millennium Falcon doing cool shit. And Luke could be there, too, because if he's a Force ghost, he could just show up whenever. Well, you know what? You kind of convinced me, actually. Yeah, I get to have them all if I do it the other way. Yeah. Um, and then another one for one. So DC EU's Wonder Woman, Superman, and Batman. <laughs> DC Superman, Wonder Woman, and Batman. Superman, well, yeah, yeah. So marry, fuck. marry Batman, uh, kill Superman, and fuck Wonder Woman. Um, if we're going, if Justice League is canon, I'm okay with marrying Superman. That man is going to be, every time he cooks dinner or whatever, he's going to be like, you know what? I'm a big fan of good meals. Yes, I'm a, <laughs> I'm a big fan of mashed potatoes. And I'm like, oh, oh my, my God. man. <laughs> uh. Well, yeah, as it stands, um, if, he's, if he's losing one loved, if, if he's losing one spouse away from turning into an evil, psychotic murder Hitler, yeah. then yeah, best to just maybe just not have him around. Uh, the Nightmare Vision is a direct effect of him using time reversal. It was mentioned when they brought back Superman. N no, it wasn't. He has a, he has a vision, uh, Cyborg does, of a weird future. And then he doesn't say anything after that. Yeah, and we don't know if the Mother Boxes are doing that to him, which I guess they are, but... I, yeah, well, the cool thing is, we don't... when that happens, he's supposed to go, guys, like, I know that Superman has ran off. But, like, there's something worse. I saw something in, in the machine. They're like, what do you mean, Victor? And he's like, oh, I, I don't know. But it was this future where Darkseid, or the big alien guy, he's, like, he's won. And Wonder Woman died. I saw her in, like, a funeral. Um, that was unfucking mistakable I would obviously tell my friends about this, because this is serious. Yeah. Kind of could mean a lot. Might mean nothing. Might. Yeah. Uh, and Mike. you have them discuss it. It's like, could that be... Was that the, the fucking alien ship telling Victor that by doing... By bringing back Superbad, you're going to cause Wonder Woman to die? What the fuck would that even happen, by the way? Um, and, and regardless, the idea that the Flash has caused the nightmare future to happen by using his time reversal isn't addressing what we mean by consequences of using time travel. 
People are getting it very confused right now. Um, the the lack of consensus and understanding on this, kind of across the board. Yeah. Well, yeah. Maybe something to it. Something to it. But uh, what I what I mean is just um, you know what what are the consequences of of Iron Man throwing in that nuke at the mothership? It's like, well, he's probably gonna have to die to do that. You're like, oh, I understand. And if someone said, well, the consequences are Endgame is still gonna happen if he does that. Or that Endgame happens because he does that. I'd be like, that's not a con. That that's not. Well, that's not what I mean at all. That's like a. That's gonna be as a result of other things that end up happening that aren't what the Flash was doing in the time reversal. Um, it'd be like, what are the consequences of someone not nuking Earth right now as a whole? It'd be like, well, some horrible thing's gonna happen to Earth in the future if you don't. It's like, I mean, yeah, that's just the nature of time. And again, it makes me wonder what happens that Flash couldn't undo it. Um, but you know. I suppose we'll see. Um, yeah. Because of course, Superman goes evil because Lois dies or whatever, which is another worry. That poor character. Uh, I'm not affiliated with EFAP. I don't support the killing of clown puppies. I have two clown puppies myself. Two separate statements. I could tell. That was absolutely separate. Also, we do not kill <laughs> clown puppies. That's a, that's absurd. Why nope. We don't? Wouldn't uh, kill a clown puppy. Not doing it. Nope, that would not be the cat's pajamas. Clown puppies are adorable, all right. Uh, I know Flash could time travel in the Golden Age, but I thought more modern interpretations had him need a lot of external equipment to do it. Again, it's, it's, for me, it's just about you have to make an exchange. There has to be some kind of sacrifice. There has to be something it costs. Otherwise, what the fuck have you done? You just reverse every time anything goes wrong. Um, and we That's talked Snyder's vision. We talked about this on the uh, the EFAP. We said like there are, there are narratives you can build around that as a concept, but uh, dropping that in as just a thing on top of your entirely separated like uh, superhero bad guy defeat fight movie. Wow. It would be interesting to see a version of the Flash who actually does have that power to just sort of rewind time whenever he wants, and mm -hmm. it makes him incredibly jaded and cynical, and he doesn't care about anything anymore because he knows that, like, nothing's permanent, and he could just go back and undo yeah. things, and he knows things about people that they don't even know because he can reset after they've done things that he knows about, and so he just becomes incredibly just jaded, cynical, maybe even just, like, a jester kind of person who's just out to enjoy himself because he, he almost nihilistic and you could go from when he was hopeful you could even have it be as low stakes and simple as he's talking to a girl and he says something that kind of makes you go like oh uh <laughs> yeah okay and walks away just rewinds yeah. and doesn't say that and instead says something else until it works and then when he's he has finally infinite tries it, and like it finally works and she's almost like super interested and then you can see his like face drop as he realizes this isn't genuine anymore because he's crafted it and That's a really interesting idea that we're never ever going to see, Mahler. <laughs> no. uh, Southpaw, thank you for those insane, amazing Lucas interactions last night, man. You had Mr. Cry laughing. Or had me cry laughing. Hi, Mahler and crew. Kick J. Zack Snyder's Justice League sucks. True. Is that the guy, the insane Lucas or whatever? Uh, amazing Lucas. I guess that was the guy he was calling into, yeah. Um, I've heard of that channel before, but... Um, I have too. Hopefully, I don't know if Southpaw's listening to this or has will listen to it but uh if you have link rags whatever that thing about whatever it was was you'll probably be interested in checking it out um oi rags in 12 dancing princesses why don't the daughters use their wish granting flowers to bring their dead mother back to life i would have to rewatch that again honestly i only very kind of lightly remember that one so i'd have to go back and check and see what the rules are on that yeah and perhaps Perhaps death is something that's considered a bit permanent, you know? You don't you, you don't want to use a, one of your important flowers on something like that, maybe. Maybe you consider that a sacred thing you wouldn't want to touch. Who knows? Well, Dancing Princesses is pretty, pretty fucking good, if I remember, you know? Uh, hi, Mauler and Rex. Hey. Hello. Uh, love when uh, Cyborg called Diana to meet up just so we can say fuck off. <laughs> pretty much. Uh... Also, Cyborg could just repair anything by holding his hand like out like the recorder? Yes. Um, and that was at distance as well. He didn't connect to it. 
So, um, should be very concerned about Cyborg's power. Yeah, his powers are mm -hmm. powerful. Uh, Rags, They're any service potent. industry horror stories from you? Horror stories? Um, nah, not really horror stories. A lot of weird stuff happens, and but off the top of my head, I would... Um, no, I don't think I have any horror stories, honestly. Um, nothing really bad that happened. Uh, mostly good stuff. Some funny things here and there. Nothing too bad. Yeah, I had horror stories honestly. from the toy store, but... <laughs> like, yeah. You don't expect that to be the case. It's like, oh, you worked at a toy store? It's like, yeah, it's horrifying, but yeah. Retail. The world of fun. I've seen some people on Twitter say Darkseid was better than Thanos. How? <laughs> um, Indeed, uh, how I don't Infinity know. War Thanos was really cool. I don't know where to begin with that. Like this, it's just amazing. It's like you're talking to aliens. <laughs> Dark Side literally has a speech where he's like, "I will control the world." It's just like, mm. oh no, Dark Side, we, we've evil. got to stop you. So evil. I'm going to kill a puppy. And like, oh my god. Not the puppy, motherfucker. Oh, that was no. the one thing we were missing. Just a scene where it's just like, Sir, I have orphan children for you in the next room to eat. And he's like, hmm. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Excellent. My favorite. Uh, have any of you fine gentlemen checked out Sons of Anarchy? It's probably some of the best character writing I've come across. Totally recommend. I have not. I know of the show, but I've not seen it. I've, Same. Yeah, I've heard a bunch of recommendations for it. In regard to the earlier super chat on Attack on Titans, M main character, he's not equivalent to Luke. He's not shat on. And as a manga, we will get context from the time skip that contextualizes his current actions. I have no clue. That sounds like a fight for uh, other YouTubers to have because yeah. I don't know anything about Attack on Titan. Y'all can talk about your anime amongst yourselves. Uh, if. Meme repository is still there when you read this. Who did Dark Side worse? The Justice League Dark Apocalypse War or Snyder Cut? Um, I'm afraid he's not here. Uh, from what I've seen, they are both edgy as fuck. <laughs> YMS is here and I can't watch? Sad. Well, that one got uploaded immediately because I fucking uploaded a four hour video for once to Moolah and the processing was instant. It just went, yep, that's fine. I was like, oh wow, it didn't take four <laughs> days. That's awesome. It's almost like that's how it's supposed to work. What? Feels like that. I think they might have like a queue system and videos over like a certain amount of hours are like, okay, you can wait, you ridiculous person. It's like, <laughs> Uh Miles Dyson killed himself to mark the box when he could just do it outside the room with a remote button. Also, Cyborg knew he was going to die and he didn't think to hack the machine and stop it. Oh my god, guys. These, oh, man. They already oh. knew before we were going over it. <laughs> yeah. Um, as sure for the whole did. marking it from the outside thing, the film tries to explain this. He puts the box down, he looks out, and he sees um, Steppenwolf on the way. All he needed to do was take a few extra steps forward and press the button. So, like, it is... I didn't bring it up because the film is trying to say that he decides to stay in the room. Mm -hmm. And it's like, can I'm you really like, criticize why, that? Though? And it's like, yeah, but, like, he could easily have gotten out? I don't know, it's... Okay. Um, but of course, it is true that um, you should have fucking given it to the Justice League and Cyborg should have deactivated the machine. They are major flaws in that storyline. Uh, the boxes have awakened because no lantern or Kryptonian is there to save the day. Um, oh. Like it ever? has been for like millennia. <laughs> many, <laughs> like, many okay. thousands of years before the Sahara was a desert. <laughs> it's like, oh man, it's a bit awkward, isn't it? Uh, what's worse, Darkseid forgetting where Earth is, or the Final Order fleet not knowing where Up is? <laughs> oh, Up is worse. Up is definitely worse. <laughs> up is worse, yeah. That's another one of those, uh, we were talking about this, the astronomical contrivance, where it's like, is it possible a person could forget where Up is? And you're like, I mean, I... I, I I guess it's logically possible, I just don't believe it. Yeah. It's a really bad concussion. I don't know. You'd have to have, like, vertigo or something. Yeah. Well, I was gonna say, like, up as a concept is almost, like, that's it's so hard to make someone go, like, which way is up? Yeah, um, and it's not even, like, north or south. It's relative to you. Yeah, yeah to you. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> uh, 
up his wheels. Yeah, that's, it like was the ships hilarious. All different directions. They're all like flat to the ground. Mm -hmm. So it's only it's only one. Way. Mm. Uh, guys, guys, guys. Earth is like the Iron Fleet. Yeah, you just kind of forgot. <laughs> Damn. It happens. That's all that show is remembered for now? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what a amazing. fucking legacy that they flushed down the toilet. Jesus. We always do it, but like, you know, look at Lord of the Rings. That That is a dude. And it will forever. Uh, YMS, tell Mola to watch Jupiter Ascending. Uh, we do intend to for EFAP movies. It's gonna be a fun one, I'm sure. Uh, hi Rags, hello Mola. Hey. Hello. Watch Parasite the Maxim. I have no idea what that is, but perhaps in the future? Uh, the Hobbit trilogy has fan cuts that trim it down to one movie. Do you think a fan cut of JL could be better? Your tweets indicate the film needs trimming. So, I tooled around with the idea of trying to cut up both Joss and Snyder's cut, and if we were able to sync the films visually, you might be able to make something that's better than both of them, but I, like, Jesus Christ, what a task, you know, and why. Um, but you could definitely cut Snyder's cut to be a better Snyder cut, if that makes sense. For example, oh, yeah, definitely. cut the fucking weird fish cult. Let's get him out of there. Let's just get, let's get that right out. I can't wait for people to see our reaction. Hmm. I don't even, like, I don't even know how quickly we even pick up on it. Because it's, it's one of those things that totally sneaks up on you. Because when it starts, you're just like, oh, what are we, what, what's, hmm, what, oh, okay. And then it goes on and on and on. Um, I'll shut up when the critics stop being wrong. Oh, that's in relation to uh, Life is Strange. Fair enough. Uh, reminder that in the animated DCU, the Justice League was so desperate to even stand a chance against Darkseid that they released Space Satan to fight him. Damn. Space Satan. Satan? Boy. Uh, reminder, oh wait, uh, thoughts on the two most recent Doom games. Uh, really like Doom 2016, but not Eternal so much. Started replaying both games to try and find out why. That's uh, kind of the position I'm in. Um, I liked Doom 2016 a whole lot. I still haven't finished Doom Eternal. Um, just... I, I heard they added multiplayer to it, so I might go back and play the multiplayer some, because um, I like uh, 2016's multiplayer quite a bit. My position's even weirder. I bought Eternal, but I didn't play it. And maybe one day I will. <laughs> like, I don't know. I'm weird with video games sometimes. Um, but yeah, uh, the first one was awesome from what I remember. I, I was very much in love with that game. Uh, a complete breakdown of Zack Snyder... Oh, well, that's the title. More like Dark Side thought it was Urath. <laughs> Obviously. Earth. Oh, like he, he just had the wrong... Okay, I, I mean, you know, it happens. Earth. Could Darkseid use the Dreamstone to find the anti-life equation? The fuck is a Dreamstone? <laughs> that was that another thing in the DC universe. <clears throat> Why didn't the gods and everything get rid of the anti-life equation when he left? Why didn't they just, like, <clears throat> scuff it up with their boots or something? Well, here's a question. <laughs> Why is it that you hit the ground and it appears... What's that about? So you had it in you all, all the real anti-life equation was inside of you the whole time? Because like he hits <laughs> it with what his, we're doing? His, his spear thing and then Steppenwolf hits it with his axe and it's like do you just is it just a you just have to hit the ground is that how that works? Yeah just do that on a different planet. Why yeah. does it have to be Earth? Well where does it come from? This is the thing I have no fucking clue how it works I just picture that one day in the modern era some guys are hitting the floor with a jackhammer and then suddenly the fucking anti-life equation appears he's like oh my god what's all this and then and he doesn't know what it is so he just like ruins it and then you picture like oh the dreamstone sorry i'm retarded they're talking about wonder woman 84 of course oh i yeah I all right guys yeah, like my, my brain is a bit spaghetti i uh i apologize for that i understand now um by the way just just um okay. what an what incredible edge the anti-life equation. <laughs> well, the uh, explanation Meme Repository gave made it sound a lot less cringe, but still, I think it's it's like it's still pretty cringy. The anti-life equation. Um, as for uh, I do I do not know how the wish mechanics would coincide with someone using the anti-life equation to control everything. 
Um, it's one of those things where you start to create such powerful items in the world that you don't even know which ones outclass the others because they're just all super powerful. Let yeah. me give an example of when this happens. You guys might be familiar with. Um, okay, I fire a gun. No, I have anti-gun armor. Well, no, my gun is anti-gun armor gun. <laughs> no, my my <clears throat> I I I'm a superhero. Well, no, I'm a giant superhero laser. Well, no, I'm a universe. You can't kill me with that. It's like, okay, I'm universe destruction. Okay, well, I'm the anti-life equation. Okay, well, I'm a wish stone that grants any wish. <laughs> like, I, I, don't, I don't know what's happening anymore. Um, shut up, Soapy, you're insufferable. The only person who was wrong was your mother when she decided to keep you. My goodness. Wow. Why are you guys fighting in the soup chat? What the fuck? Um... One dark side in the multiverse, there's some trillions of planets in our universe with infinite universes. How many planets are there to search through after he went back to his universe? That just raises more questions, right? Wouldn't there be multiple dark sides? Oh my goodness gracious. Would there be multiple anti-life equations, or is it just the this particular just universe? Just that one. Why did he not do that on every planet that he landed on? I don't fucking have any... I so even, many questions. I've not even so thought... So many questions. Yeah, I've not even thought about the multiverse questions, Jesus Christ. That's, I don't even want to. I don't even want to address it. I don't even want to go near it. That just destroys so everything again. Excited. You imagine if they were like, "Oh no, there's an anti-life equation in every universe, in every multiverse, but any one of them controls all of them." You'd be like, "What?" <laughs> Dark side is multiversal. What the fuck does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> He's a multiversal creature. Oh man, those are the worst kinds of creatures. Uh, Oi Mola, how you doing? What you working on? So this was in EFAP 131, and I can confirm now, I was working on uh, Zack Snyder's Justice League, an unbridled rampage. You may be familiar with it. You may be not. Uh, could you get a YouTuber called Rags on? His channel may be dead, uh, but he has such a great personality, such a good doggo. Oh. Well, yeah, we'll have more. Won't be dead for now. long. I was gonna say. Prepare. Strap in, you might say. Yeah, strap on. Strap in. Strap in. So, uh, uh, mm. Strap it on. Strap in. Uh, ba -ba -ba. Congratulations, Molly. Your Tross video just passed 6 million viewers. Uh, truly a great achievement. In fact, I'd say this is easily the second best thing to ever involve the number 6 million. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> no. um, um, by a strange coincidence, I watched that yesterday while I was uh, lying in bed. How does it hold up? Pretty good, I think. I am. Um, that movie wasn't very good. I don't know. If, I don't know what you thought. It about was it. really bad. It mm. does a pretty darn good job in the two-hour video that it is. It does a pretty good job bringing up a lot of the issues of that movie. This is a joke, right? Someone just said, "No, more well, Dark Side exists outside of the multiverse." What? What is? How do you exist outside of a multiverse? You have to be. You have to be somewhere. How do you know that even? <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> Not from the movies. Yeah. What the no, hell? no, no. God exists outside of time. So oh, okay. your first mistake was having a multiverse. <laughs> that was, you probably should have just not done that because it complicates the fuck out of everything. <laughs> This is the same goes for time travel, matter, reassemblage, resurrection. These things cause complications. You have to be very careful and not just drop very them careful. all at once on very an audience. Very careful. Um, it's oh. a cave. A bat cave, smirky face. Yes! Oh. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Uh, I gotta go, but remember to talk about how dumb the end tape recorder scene was. He literally reverses it into working order. Yes, like, it's incredible. Yeah. It, like, threw... If you would have told me that he could manifest a, a a localized reverse time field, I would have believed you based on what I saw. It's yeah. literally like he rewinds the tape recorder, except back through time. <laughs> it's incredible. Uh... Um, by the way, I will say, um, I... Of all the characters in the DCEU I would want to see a movie of, The Flash is the number one. Uh, sorry, what did you say? Of all the movies that they could u do in the DCEU going forward, I would want to have a Flash movie. Um, because you like the character? Yeah, I think it'd be fun. Um, 
for me, if if the if the parameters are, it's a good one. Like it's a good movie, and I get to have any one character. Oh, Superman. I would probably pick uh, Batfleck if it was a good movie. I get Alfred. Hmm. <laughs> I want Alfred. More. Oh yeah, fuck that, Alfred. I just want a movie of Alfred <laughs> just... putting up with Batman shit <laughs> yeah. for two hours. <laughs> just call it Alfred. That's all we need. Oh wait, call Alfred it... is just the low key greatest hero in the world. Call it, is this supposed to be Alfred? That's the movie title right there. I like it. I like it. Uh, Darkseid is a fifth dimensional being. Alright, I'm good. I'm just gonna move on. So he's part of a <laughs> 70s R&B band? <laughs> folk band? I guess they're like a folk R&B. Oh, sweet blindness. I want to be a fifth dimensional being. Gimme. Uh, can we talk about how the man who has access to the entire world's nuclear arsenal can't control when he launches missiles? Holy shit. <laughs> oh boy, <laughs> oh you're gonna... God. Oh, I hope you enjoyed that. Oh god. I sure as hell did. That's horrifying, don't even bring it up, Jesus. Um, I'm gonna be real, I was more intimidated by Bucky and Winter Soldier than I was Darkseid and Justice League. Why would that even be in question? Yeah, Bucky, like, he kills people. He's intimidating. He's competent. He's good at his job for the most part. I would argue he's at his scariest in uh, Winter Soldier because you don't know what he is or who he is, but he's also really efficient. Yeah. And uh, yes. Oh yeah. You know that if he's coming for you, you've got issue. You got problems. That's a that's bad. So yeah, I completely agree. But at the same, like, I'd have to. I'd be like, who in the MCU villain list is worse than Darkseid in Justice League? And it's like, um. I mean, does, um, what's his face from Captain Marvel count? Uh, oh, Jan, Jan Rog, I think his name is. Um, no, yeah, the, the blue man. Oh, well, or the green guy. What's his face? Um, oh, you mean the one that turns good, like at the halfway mark? Yeah. He was pretty retarded, that's true. Uh, in, in the time that he was an antagonist, he was very stupid, but. Um, Learning that he's not actually a bad guy just makes him worse, though. <laughs> yes, that's probably... You're right, actually, yeah. Well, at that point, though, is he counted as a villain? That's the thing. It's a classification issue. I don't oh, know. people are saying Thor the Dark World, but um, Malekith was literally just evil, though. Like, he's kind of just like Darkseid, but without the Forgot a Planet thing. Oh... So, I don't know. Well, point being, saying that you preferred Winter Soldier as a villain to Darkseid, I'm like, yes. <laughs> I, I completely agree. And they said, uh, people think he's better than Thanos. I, 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 again, if we're talking... Shocks me. If we're talking Endgame, like, I suppose I, I'd like to listen to the argument exactly, but if we're talking Infinity War, I don't know what the fuck the comparison there is about. Yeah, I don't believe you. Oh my god, that's so mean. Hey, Soapy, tweet this. The only part of you that's worth anything is what's left on your mom's leg. Damn. <coughs> that's, uh... Jeez. There's some anger in these, you know? Wow. That's <laughs> that's a super chat. Some angry yeah, I know, boys. right? Uh, Mola, hello, good sir. Hello. Shad, you missed out with the broad-shouldered wench, I think. Um, that might be a reference to something he said in the, in the stream. Hello, Rags. Hey there. Everyone else, glad to meet you. Have any of you seen the movie Immortals? And uh, where's Drinker? Good romp is fun. I have no idea what Immortals is. Do you guys? Um, let me double check and see if I've heard of that. Movie? Video game? 2011? Uh, just says movie Immortals. 2011. I presume it is the 2011 one then, I don't know. But no, I have not seen that. Uh, no. Is that's it? A, this that's is, an A. This is the one about <clears throat> about Theseus. I mean, I'd be. It's probably terrible. I'd love to see it. We <laughs> could. We could. That could be on our list of um. Yes. Uh, movies with our our, our history crew. group. <laughs> history group. I agree. Uh, and uh, Drinker was unavailable for that EFAP. Uh, I'm I'm afraid, but uh. We were pretty stuffed up anyway, so it didn't. It didn't. It wasn't the worst thing ever. We got through. Uh, do, do. The best part of Snyder Cut is EFAP Movie Snyder League. Well, uh, I don't know when that will be out, but of course, I think you guys will understand that there's going to be a bit of a delay. <laughs> but I'm sure it'll be fun. Yeah. 
Uh, typical SJW writing, darkening heroic characters to make them more relatable while intentionally lowering to high standard they're supposed to embody. I, I think, it, I, I honestly do, it's just incompetence. Like, I think so too. I think that's all. Like, the idea is like, all they, it they really, darkened yeah. Superman. It's like, no, no, no. Snyder just loves watching Superman fucking blow shit up with his Everything's lasers. dark. Yeah. It was always dark. This is just extra dark because he could get away with it. Like in Wonder Woman blowing up the side of that building. If you had told me that that was made by Patty Jenkins, I would have been fucking baffled. I would have been like, what the hell is she doing? This doesn't make any... But then you, when you tell me it's by Snyder, it's like, oh. Yeah. Oh, that's funny. Compare that with the mall scene at the beginning of Wonder Woman 84. Yeah. And it's like two, two totally different things. And the funny thing is, had Snyder never made anything with Wonder Woman in it, we would be joking about how, oh, you know, like Snyder's Wonder Woman, she would probably fucking like vaporize people with her ability. And then, and then he did it, and then he did that. So, uh, this movie is a horrible version of Justice League War. Uh, Warner Brothers and their goons keep on making rubbish live-action movies when they could just copy the animations. I'm sure that would lead to better shit if they just copied the animated ones. It's it's amazing that you guys got the Snyder cut as a as like a gift. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> a wow. gift. Uh, like the Snyder cut? Yes or no? That would be a no. That would be a big no. That would be one of the most mm. confident no's I've ever said. It's a capital letters, that one. Uh, I happen to be kind of related to Harry Lennox, Martian Manhunter. He's the brother of one of my uncles by marriage. Too bad the film wasn't better. Uh, yeah. Oh. Uh, neat connection, and um, I hope that he ends up in something strange, better yeah. next time. Ooh, short man bad. Oh, this is probably coming to the end of these, I guess. <laughs> Uh, have you seen this doggo? Please call EFAP if found. <laughs> well, he was found. Yes, do not you worry. Uh, Mula, where is the Batwaman? Well, as you may have uh, noticed, Batwaman has taken a small break, and it's probably because a certain someone is releasing a certain video tomorrow by the name of Moopa. Mm. Uh, excitement. Wow. I'm sure, it's through the roof. And so Batwoman shall exciting. continue, but don't worry guys, Batwoman's gonna go on a hiatus, I believe, once it hits episode 9, which means EFAP, as per usual, will catch up before the next one start, I think. Uh, seen Red Letter Media? Your opinions on it? I think that's what that says. Um, I thought the video was really bad. Um, I wanted to like it. I, you know, I like Red Letter Media, but holy fuck, mm -hmm. they, um... It was. I was watching it with Fringy, and uh, we were actually ended up defending the Joss cut. So one of the things they say is that uh, Joss cut in this line from Bruce, where he says, Superman was a beacon, and why haven't you been, in reference to 100 years? And they're like, they, they actually say, like, Joss is an idiot. He didn't even realize she was saving people at the beginning of the film in the bank. And I would have thought that if you presume Bruce meant she's not saving people at all, then that would be bizarre. Because it's like, wow, there was a scene like not that long ago that's completely opposite to this. So maybe something else was going on in that scene. Maybe Batman said, it's not enough to be saving people. You need to be seen doing it, is, is what he was saying. And uh, he's referencing how Superman was a beacon and an icon for everyone to look up to. The fact that he went into a court, that he was on like news all the time. Very much um, seen saving people is the point. And this is uh, what led me down to looking more into Justice uh, League, because I was interested in like what, what, what even is happening in a lot of these scenes. And when I was watching the, um, the Batman and uh, Wonder Woman conversation, he basically, like, it's gotten to the point, because this is late into the movie, where she like admits that she's kind of fucked up, because... What she's been doing is saving people under the radar. That's that's what Joss's cut argues. Because if someone um, gives you a like, so so let's say you have to make a sequel to Wonder Woman uh, 2017, right? And someone's like, oh yeah, I, I, sure I can do that. It's like, what am I going to do for Wonder Woman? It's like, well, uh, she's a really great hero. She saves people all the time. She's very strong. Blah 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 blah. But she chose not to for 100 years. Yeah, like, like why? Yeah, you, you're like what? Like what can I do with that? And it's like, well, um, uh, <laughs> like 
<laughs> we just have the person who said that doesn't know. So, um, the Snyder Cut doesn't address this at all, and she just sort of gets away with it. Uh, I thought it was pretty cool in the Joss Cut that Batman calls her out, and uh, he acknowledges that she's still helping people, right? But he's like, you should be more open about this. You should let the world know that there's a hero out there protecting them. Because Superman being dead makes the whole world uh, fear, um, you know, whatever's going to happen next with the world. Which, again, I thought was a, an improvement on Snyder's version. Because you can actually rationalize that. The idea that the boxes react to human fear is, is a whole other thing. Like, I, I think that's like, that, that's, a, that's a what sort of thing. But like... um. The idea that, that humanity would be at a heightened state of fear as a result of Superman dying, and that's what makes the boxes think that the Earth is now ready to be invaded. It's like, that makes some sense to me. Not, not great, like I said. Um, and so Batman wants her to be a beacon, because he can't be. And that's what I found actually interesting about Joss's cut, is he has Batman basically saying that because of what he's done in the other movies, which, by the way... Yeah. <laughs> The branding stuff, for example, he's not much of a beacon, you know? That's not really gonna make people no. go, man, you're a great dude, I can't, you know. Um, that's a conclusion drawn by you and only you. Oh, I was, um, I was talking about the dialogue in the film, uh, less so what I think that it is. So, tells it uh, to be a beacon and he can't be and he would happily die, uh, in exchange for Superman coming back to be that beacon once again. And, uh... Of course, Alfred takes issue with this. He's like, what the fuck, Bruce? You're my bro. And then he has Bruce. a scene where he says he's, uh, he got a job, he fell in love, and he was doing like more to save the world than I was. He's more human than I am. And it's like, man. That's pretty good. Um, of course, there's not much to, to really add to it in other stuff throughout the movie, but uh, I thought the... Wonder Woman Bruce scene, the Alfred Bruce scene, and I can't remember if there was another one in that room. They were some pretty strong additions, and they actually gave Wonder Woman and Batman something in that movie beyond surface level. And it tried, Joss tried to justify the hundred year gap. He was like, no, 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 she was saving people, she just wasn't seen doing it by anybody. Which is, I guess, maybe was an <laughs> idea. Because, obviously, Snyder fucked everyone over when he said she didn't save anybody for a hundred years. He was like, why did you do this? Like, why would you? Yeah, why? I just want to know why. That was not a necessary line. But you, you'd probably say that a lot about a lot of the lines in either version of Justice League, but that was just not a necessary line. Uh, more or small correction, the building was the central criminal court, not a bank. I honestly had no idea what the building was. I, I think I went... I don't even know why I went with bank. I just... It looks bankish. Bankish, yeah. Um, Justice League, more like just shit league. Oh, oh you fucking oh, you. hell! Wow. Uh, give Justice we uh, Joss Whedon unlimited budget in four hours, and he could make a better Justice League than Snyder cut. Joss has a full series to prove his abilities. Joss made Avengers. Um, Avengers is pretty good. Like, it's not perfect by any stretch, but uh, it's a hell of a lot Pretty better. Pretty good. Oh, than... easily. No contest. And as far as I know, Joss Whedon's a big <laughs> fan of uh, DC Comics. So, I imagine... I wouldn't mind seeing it, but I don't think he's going to get any work again, potentially. And so, uh... Oh, was Fringy supposed to be here? Maybe his Chippendale shift went too long. Chippendales? Your things you do for love. Chippendales, yeah. I don't know Chippendales. Is that like a, a brand of something? It's like Hooters for guys. Oh. Well, you know what? I am proud of Fringy doing some honest hard work. That's, that's, that's <laughs> like, wonderful. They're like dancers. I think they're like, um, it's like a male sort of thing. Uh, Mr. Meme Repository, Mr. Moolah, please say Flumple My Dangus. <laughs> well, they got it out of me. Uh, but anyways, guys, when is Alt-Shift-X going to be on EFAP? I have no idea if he's interested. We'll have him on. We can talk about uh, Game of Thrones, maybe. I don't know. Um, Chip and Dales is like the magic mic thing. Oh, yeah, I got it when you said uh, Hooters for guys. <laughs> I know what Hooters is thanks to American media making it over to the, to the, to the islands. Oh, boy. Yes. Hey everyone, do you think it's possible to make a comprehensive critique about a saga of 10 games, each 90 to 170 hours long on a casual playthrough? Highly inspired by Mola's style of critiquing. Um, 
would it not... If you're doing them one at a time, I don't see what would stop you. Uh, making a single video about ten games with thorough playthroughs about everything about them? I Fucking hell. Like, I don't know. Yeah, that sounds... Ugh. That sounds, sounds like tough. you're biting off more than you can chew. Yeah, like comparing ten... Uh, well, comparing and analyzing ten games in one video sounds like a nightmare. Mm-hmm. But hey, best of luck. I would probably do them one at a time, and if that's what you were asking, then yeah, that seems possible. Uh, with one playthrough, though, yeah, like, as long as you're thorough, um, the point of multiple playthroughs is that you get to test everything, right? Like, all of your options and the limits and stuff. Um, so, you know, as long as everything's sound. Uh, SN had a line saying the boxes didn't call because they were inactive. Cyborg's dad activated one reviving him. They then call after Superman died. Well, that wouldn't make sense because he didn't do that with the other boxes. And that was the only box that didn't get caught up until it was activated again. Which is extremely convenient, by the way. The one box that was activated prior to Superman dying was the one box that didn't call for Super Steppenwolf, when if it did, the whole movie's over. Because that's the only one they can keep out of his hands for slightly longer. Um, but yeah, the, uh, the box mechanics are confusing as hell. Flash also could have grabbed all the mother boxes himself in about a minute. I guess he can't really. Can can Flash swim fast? If you know what I mean. Um, I assume so. I wonder how that works with the electricity it generates. I mean, I don't know. Like, I I, I genuinely am just asking out of curiosity. I don't know. Yeah, I'm not certain either. <laughs> Because, like, everything for him is in normal motion. Like, everything slows down for him, right? That's how it works. I was just thinking... From, yeah, from his perspective, yeah. He's moving so fast that he has... It's, it's essentially everything's in slow-mo around him. Yeah, so... He... I don't know that he could grab the uh, Atlantean and um, Themyscaran boxes. I, I don't know. He'd have to travel... Maybe, could he run on water? Do you think, that's... What, what, what do you reckon about that? If only I knew more run about it. Running on him. water. <laughs> also, running on water is not going to help to getting to Atlantis, guys. Yeah. He'd also have to hold his breath. Yeah, we could solve that, obviously, with scuba gear. Well, whatever gear he needs. Um, but, uh, yeah, uh, if he can run on water, he can get the Themyscira one, I suppose. But that one is the one that starts all this off. There was not really a chance for the Flash to have gotten that one. I don't even know that there's a chance he can get the Atlantean one. I can't remember if that happens before or after he's brought in, but um, interesting thought regardless. Uh, Flash's villains are designed specifically to counter his speed in creative ways. Reverse Flash. Remember when you were making out with your first girlfriend? Oh, that's the whole that was me thing. And uh, Well, yeah, this is the thing. Flash's villains would have to be designed specifically to counter his speed because how else are they going to be able to do anything to him? Um, also, high rags. Hey! Mublenheimer, how does it make you feel to know that Tolkien once stated in an interview that Welsh was his favorite language by sound and appearance? That's awesome! I, uh, I'd love to know more about what he thought about the Welsh language. The ugliest pages in history were written by Mama's boy. I don't know what that would be referencing. Uh... Have you read the recent post on Frictional's website? Soma passed one million copies sold, and they try to defend Rebirth by comparing it to Soma. There is Indeed, no... Indeed, I, <laughs> I did read some of that, yeah. Um, oh, no. I, I skimmed it, but it was that thing I linked about, yeah, Soma selling over a million. Uh, the comments were interesting, uh, but yeah, they definitely tried to um, soften the reception that Genuinely, uh, the Rebirth only... got and tried to justify it. The only way it makes sense to me is that they brought on new people and they were like whittled down on a lot of the principles they had when making Soma and Amnesia. Uh, and they were probably told, you kind of need to do this to appeal to a wider audience because Soma didn't. And it's like, oh, but that's okay though, because when you make things that are fucking masterpieces, you don't have to appeal to a wide audience. It's okay. Um, mm -hmm. And I think we were like, I can't remember if we checked it, but it was like the writer of Soma's story who didn't write. Amnesia Rebirth, from what I know, which uh, wouldn't surprise anybody. 
it's really not good. Definitely worth taking a look at. I don't. So this is the thing. I don't even want to look at it. It's just going to upset me. Um, I'm. I'm still. That's not something I'm quite over. The fact that Amnesia Rebirth is a thing. It's fucking terrible. Uh, thoughts on the Green Lantern meme, cartoons, or movie? Uh, I saw the Ryan Reynolds movie. I don't remember thinking it was any good, like everybody on planet Earth. Uh, yeah, I I watched it. I don't really remember much about it, honestly. I just didn't really yeah. care for it. I, uh, it seemed I I think I remember just me thinking that it was very unimaginative. Mm -hmm. Um, it just wasn't particularly interesting. As for uh, cartoons, I have not watched any Green Lantern cartoons, I'm afraid. But um, I've always liked them in concept, and I think they could do an awesome Green Lantern movie if, you know, someday. Uh, Darkseid didn't forget the location of Earth. Earth was just one rock among three trillion other planets Darkseid was conquering. <laughs> okay, so... <sighs> I don't see how this movie gets a pass for this insanely stupid thing. You have maps. You are you have a sophisticated, advanced civilization that can traverse the galaxy. You're not going to lose a planet. You can chart where planets are going to be thousands of years in advance. So they orbit planets. And what and what Rise just li lined out is why no planet would be forgotten. But you know what planet specifically might not be forgotten like ever in his entire life? The planet that has the one thing that he wants in the entire multiverse. That that seems like the one he's not going to forget. The planet that fought back. The only one. The planet that led to his only defeat. The planet that fucking had him stabbed by an axe in his fucking neck. <laughs> I don't think he's going to forget <laughs> about this planet, guys. He should not, no. Um... But all right, you know, I, I see it around a lot. I, it's incredible to me that uh, people are saying that to defend the movie. And like, I like that Zack Snyder responded about it specifically to simply reaffirm that he forgot. <laughs> he wasn't a defense, he just said, yeah, yeah, he forgot. Like, okay. Uh, will you read the comment I pay you to read? Yes. Yeah, I'm thinking so. Uh, why are his films so dark? You could have people watch an off TV for three hours with loud background noise and convince them they saw a Snyder movie. Uh, <laughs> again, so something that's synonymous with edginess is darkness. <laughs> like, he likes some dark. darkness. Darkness is very know. edgy. Uh, there were shadows. Faster than the speed of dark. Uh, people resorting to personal attacks of Joss Whedon is more or less an admission that they've run out of film-related arguments. I've I've been told over the past week because people know about my tweets that I'm defending a pervert. And I was like, okay, I I'm not talking about him, I'm talking about the movie, the story. Yeah. So if we if we could if we could not, please. But uh, you could uh, works. fucking chill. Uh, that kind of bad faith Zack Snyder Justice League defense reminds me of people's uh, here defending Atler and Mando by calling Moobel and Rags hypocrites, as if that's a defense. Look, what's going to happen over time is EFAB is going to weed out all of the people who don't know that we're coming for everything. Like, as soon as they, you know, down the line, eventually the community will just be filled with people willing to just tackle the fuck out of everything. Um, this I, has been our position since day one. We will mm -hmm. eventually come for the things that you like, and the <laughs> things that you like, some of them are just flat out bad objectively. And if you thought that we're exempt to this, we're not. We watch things that we're like, oh boy, this'll be good, and then we're like, oh boy, that wasn't good. Oh my <laughs> goodness, it wasn't. Um, so, you'll be fine. And uh, I just hope we eventually get past the point where someone in this fucking community says, why are you analyzing this as if whether or not it makes sense? Like, it's a fucking movie, dude. I think it's safe to say we're all in agreement that Batman and Robin is best Kino. Uh, yeah. Indeed. Yes, it is objectively perfect. No. Um, yes. And a random rat beat Thanos. Well, Endgame's bad, so... Uh, the rat thing... 
I don't even know, what is what is the rat thing? It's just it happened to press the right button on a console to release Ant-Man, which sets the entire plot in motion. I remember when that happened in the fucking, when I was watching the movie, I was just like, what, what just, what? Oh, lucky! <laughs> Why would you begin that way? <laughs> Why are you doing this to me? Why not have just like a person? Yeah, just let, let him find it. It's like, you have oh, someone what's this, what's this do, Mickey, yeah. right here? What's all this stuff in this van? This is this must be valuable. What's a whoa? Yep, there you go. That's There's the scene. That's the in. scene. He flips it on. He's like, "How you it? We'll make it really bad dialogue." Oh boy, a van. Oh man, this must be worth a lot of money. Oh, what boy. is this thing? Maybe if I flip <laughs> oh. some switches, I can turn it on. <laughs> Press this button. I just, oh, oh my goodness! And then Paul Rudd goes blow and tackles him, and then he's like, "You're an Avenger." There you go. Perfect. We nailed it. Uh, hello, Easy. everyone. Shad. When the sequel hey. to Shadow the Conqueror coming out? I love the first book and want to see the story progress. Um, I don't know that he has an answer for that. I've. Uh, um, I know that they're doing that adaptation thing, but yeah, hopefully, uh, we get some sequels. Who knows? Uh. Batman is so retarded, from going to destroy soup to becoming his best friend to acting on faith and not bringing kryptonite in case things go wrong. Yeah, that was, that, well that's on all of them, that's not just Batman. Well, maybe they didn't know he had kryptonite. It's definitely on Batman and Wonder Woman, they're the two that fucked that up. But uh, all the characters are stupid in the movie, unfortunately. It's what makes everything happen. Uh, say what you will about these movies, Cyborg is way better in Snyder's, like in his scene where he tests his powers, or like the fact that he actually has screen time and characterization. Okay. So, where he tests his powers, uh, he's explicit in Whedon's version that he still doesn't understand his suit and his abilities. Um, in Snyder's, he has the one montage of testing stuff, and then apparently he has full control. That is lame as fuck. Hmm. And then you have screen time characterization. Okay, so having screen time, <laughs> this is a plus automatically. It's like, I, I, uh, yeah, be nice this is something you gotta like lead the conversation with. Because of course, longer isn't better. More isn't better. I was annoyed it has to that be um, good. Henry didn't get more screen time. But when I say that, I don't mean time in which he is on the screen. I mean time for him to fucking talk. And say do and say things that characterize him more because the final one here is characterization which yeah uh cyborg does get more characterization for sure but he also is like destroyed several times over so i, I don't know that i i think i said this in the videos like i don't i don't know which one is fucking better at that point cyborg made more sense in whedon's vision so i can't help but assume that that might have been why uh, he did that Batman wanted to kill Superman because the 1% possibility is quoting an actual policy is Cheney. Oh, I, I've never said that um, that's not reasoning. The idea that something has the chance to destroy the entire world, therefore we should get rid of it, is reasoning, but contextually it made no sense. Because Superman is the only thing stopping the world from being destroyed several times over. It, it would be like, there, so, so the criticism is, there is a 1% chance that Superman could destroy the world, therefore we kill him. And I would be like, Bruce, there is like a 100% chance that the world gets destroyed if we kill him. Can't defend Earth anymore from horrible flying aliens, of which we now know that there's a lot of. So I think you should rethink killing him, especially when he's only helping us. Um, I think it's really stupid. And uh, it was pathetic that the best you could come up with to make Batman want to kill Superman is that he might be evil one day. Like, oh. Uh, the aspect ratio of the film is a box because back in the day, Jack Kirby used to use a six panel grid. The movie looks like a comic book panel. <laughs> All right. Weird comic book panels look way better than this. I don't know, man. I just I, I think <laughs> that screens and comic book panels, first of all, not the same thing. Second of all, you can make a wide screen, a comic book panel, type of thing. Like I just can't. I'm not <gasps> even gonna. Uh, both the Lighthouse and Justice League are rectangular frames. A square is one to one. Justice League is four by three, and the Lighthouse is one nineteen one. Uh, that's why in my video and like I, I don't think we need to do this, but it's shorthand. Getting the exact one correct is not something that we're looking to do. We're simply trying to express a concept, which is there are bars on the left and right. Whether yeah, it's or not... much closer to a square than normal. Yes. So, like a box. Um, 
I think in my video I described it as 4x3 adjacent in case I was right or wrong about calling it 4x3. I didn't care to get the specifics right, I was just talking about the concept. Uh, release a mini to make up for the short stream. Oh, there you go. This will be the mini. Oh! There was a Excellent. mini right after that, on my Sweet. stream. Ah. Uh, Desaad, I knew Steppenwolf would fail. Then why didn't you help him? And the story says they need MBs to take over the world, so why were they doing this whole time? Nobody knows what the bad guys were doing. It's almost like the bad guys were just CGI creatures that were set up there to look like things from the comics and reference stuff to make you go, oh my god, I want to see the next one. I don't have anything to prove that, though. Just the movie. Muller is an indefatigable champion of objectivity. Is that a real word? Sure. Indefat... Uh, say that again? Uh, it's persisting tirelessly. Indefatigable. Oh, indefatigable. Oh, fuck. Of course. Indefatigable. Okay. <laughs> I don't think I've ever yeah. heard that word said before. I can't. No, I, I like it. Haven't. Indefatigable. Yeah, I, <clears throat> that's quite a word. It's it's when you say it, it's it's kind of bouncy, you know. Uh, Mola, how are you able to stay awake and active during EFAPs without needing sleep or food? Do you have superpowers? P.S. You're incredible. Oh, that's that's nice. Um, I have a drink. <laughs> yeah, and uh, <laughs> sometimes I'm tired, but you know, hey, the, the, we, we be I. Um, it's pretty hilarious that there's fans who begged for the Snyder Cut and unsurprisingly it turned out to be even worse. I don't know, I was still surprised that it was worse. I was surprised too. I thought it would be better. Not mu not by much. I, d I don't think, it I didn't think it would be good, but I thought it would be better. Because I'm like, he has all this time to flesh out all these characters and fix the plot and do some explaining and connect dots. But it was much worse. Yeah. Wasn't expecting that. Clearly nobody was expecting that. Like I, said, I, I, I was, if I put money on it, I would have said the Snyder Cut would have been better. And I was like, holy fuck. Yeah, that would have been my bet. Uh, so why does the name Steppenwolf sound so retarded? It sounds like a band. I think, so the, the precedent I want to set is like, so first of all, why does any word sound retarded? And it's like, well, because it, like, it's just so far out of normalcy, I guess, is usually going to be the argument because all words are made up and stuff. Steppenwolf? I don't know how that doesn't come across as weird as fuck to anybody hearing it for the first time, you know? Yeah, it still makes me kind of giggle sometimes Steppenwolf. when I hear it. Steppenwolf. Steppenwolf. You almost, I almost think German. It's like Steppenwolf or something like that. Steppenwolf. It's yeah. a German word. See, that sounds way better than what they call him <laughs> in the movie. If he was a, it was a German film and Steppenwolf was like a bad guy name, I'd be on board. No, I'm not that. <laughs> Why? What does it mean in German? Is it like penis or something? It's just a, just a wolf. <laughs> oh. So what's a wolf? Wait. It's like... Was it like a big on. wolf or great wolf or something like that? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> let, me, let me check. Steppenwolf's a band. Uh, um, this is the thing. True. Yeah, yeah. The German pronunciation sounds fucking way better than like a, a normie pronunciation. So if only everyone pronounced it in the German way in the film, that's when I'd be like, all right, he's foreign, guys, leave him alone. Oh, apparently that's just another, another, another name for a coyote. <laughs> Warner Brothers. Warner Brothers put out a poll for who's the better character between Batfleck and Frodo, and 88% picked Batfleck. <laughs> okay. This world isn't real. Desad, more like the sad. Oof. That's harsh, man. I like Desad, okay? He's cool. Another edge name, Desad. <laughs> All right, now that I've, I've got the answer to that, why does Steppenwolf's armor look so retarded? I, I don't even the the spikiness has got to be the answer to that, right? Like it's just there's just spikes everywhere. It, it's uh, it feels like something I might actually have drawn when I was a kid, honestly. Like, just wouldn't it be so cool if they had like knives all over their body that they just fucking roll around like Sonic but slash through everything? Just be like, um, no, actually. 
But, mm -hmm. uh, you know, uh, a lot of people thought Steppenwolf looked amazing, so maybe that's just a, a preference. Uh, You're gonna watch Robert Kirkman's Invincible on Prime? Three episodes in and it's great. It does everything the boys promised, but well. I have never I heard of uh, Robert Kirkman's Invincible. I don't think Invincible. I have either. But, uh, being better than the boys? That's something, you know? Not, it puts you yeah, in a position it's... of some somewhere. Yeah. Metal Sonic. Yeah, Metal Sonic would be uh, Steppenwolf, I guess. Oh, that would have been a good thing to call him in uh, in the video. Oh, well. Metal Shadow? Metal... S well... Yeah, I mean, you could choose either of them, really. Uh, I feel like the people that made this movie don't know the characters or the universe they come from. Oh, dude, I have spent, like I said, so many messages have come to me saying, you don't know the characters. Snyder knows them <laughs> inside out. It's like, um... Oh, mm -hmm. no, he doesn't. I, I fucking hope he doesn't. With <laughs> like, I don't want these people to be... Oh, no, man, it's super no, bad. No, 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 no. Superman is all about that lasering shit, okay? Uh, when are we getting Batwoman and the Room crossover? I imagine Tommy <laughs> Wiseau as Joker. Dude, that's... That would be top tier. Honestly, if I was a creator in Hollywood, I'd probably want to do that. Can we find this Tommy Wiseau guy and give him, like, a role? <laughs> Just for the memes. Hell yeah. Uh, hello all, meme repository or editing on the EFAP movies has been top tier so far. Keep up the good work, man. Also high rags. Hey there! And yeah, his, uh, his editing is top notch indeed. Very good. I went and watched Tross with my family. I fell asleep and started snoring. Should I feel bad? No. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look. You got so out easy. There's no such thing as watching a movie wrong, so you can sleep while watching it, alright? Oh yeah, that's right. Uh, Ari, WandaVision, is Agatha going by Agnes a plot hole? Um, I, just, I assumed that that was her cover name, you know? Yeah. I don't understand that, though. I think we went over it. Like, how is she even aware in the WandaVision universe without having been converted? And then, of course, on top of that, why would she have said, oh, do you want me to take that again to Wanda when she knows that no one in that universe does that? It was, it was, it was weird. Um. Oh yeah, no, I've seen why so uh, dress up as a Joker. It's it's funny shit. Um. So, any thoughts on Lindsay Alice's Twitter being deleted forever for racisms? I th I think she deleted it, so it's it's probably gonna come back. And as for uh, the reasoning, I think we went over in the beginning. Like I fucking I don't know why it got deleted, but it got deleted. Well, like I don't know why what the fucking fuss is, but then again, e Efab is a little more edgy than a lot of the uh, the left. Twitter sphere, so we have different requirements for being cancelled, like someone saying Batman and Robin is terrible. That is an instant ban. Should be thrown in prison. Mm-hmm. Uh thank you guys for saving me from enduring another DC shit show. Also, more meme repository in the future, please. This guy's a legend. Well, uh he's gonna be doing all the DC fat movies, so definitely gonna have more of him in some way, shape, or form. He's gonna he's gonna be in the Snyder Cut recording, by the way, so. Just wait until that comes out, I suppose. Um, as for saving you from like a, the shitty movie, you know, I, if you go by our recommendations, we would never recommend the Snyder Cut. Stay away. No. Um, Be happy... gone, foul spirit. Mm-hmm. I don't want to. Uh, no, I don't want to even Ash, think George. about it. Uh, I'm happy for Zack's creative vision, but I can say the same thing about George Lucas in the prequel. Sure, it's his vision, but it still sucked. Yeah, I don't know why this is a new concept for people. Like... Yeah, people can have shitty creative visions. Mm-hmm. Should not be controversial. Should not be news to anybody. Uh, on the bright side, people can't complain about how long you guys critique this movie as it is the length of a small EFAP. I know, um... Beso that's our creative vision, so fuck <laughs> off. Funnily enough, I uh, I had to t like go offline on the EFAP for other reasons, but I think we actually ended up being shorter than the film. We were like a couple minutes behind it on that EFAP, so valid stream. Ooh. Stream has been validated. Uh, meme, I need a copy of Justice League bef because I don't have HBO Max and I'm a lazy. Can you help a brother out? Uh, I think this is this is from the, uh, a friend of memes. Uh, just ask him on, on Discord if... Uh, don't ask him through super chats. That's weird. 
Uh, oh, by the way, YMS, make this EFAP the best rat. Yeah, I mean, uh, Oops. I, I liked his I liked his input. I liked that he picked up on a lot of stuff that we did. Uh, and he didn't have to be prompted for it. He was just mm -hmm. pointing stuff out. It was like, oh my god, yes. He's um, wrong about the Flash being the worst character, though. Um, Flash is a, who is Flash. the worst character? Ah. Oh. <laughs> Is it Cyborg? Um, I guess worst... If we said the least, like, the, the one you enjoy the least, the one that went on screen, you're like, uh... Probably Wonder Woman for Cyborg? Me. Well... Uh, yeah, it's gonna be between them. Or Wonder Woman. Yeah, I'd say it's kind of tied. Whereas Superman, I'm just, like, clinging on to every word he says that isn't horrific. Yeah, with Superman, it's complicated because I'm like, oh my god, there he is. But then I'm also like, oh my god, look what he's doing. Jesus Christ. Yeah, this is a complicated question I can't get you the answer for. I'm sorry. <laughs> like, I, I don't know which is the worst. Mm -hmm. Um, Can you tell Rags that the zoo thing totally worked? Thank you. <laughs> oh! I'm <laughs> glad to hear that. Yeah, man. Also, that the is the thing first, absolutely works. That is the first of the unbridled rampage ones. We are moving on now. We've done the EFAP ones. Uh, and then, of course, we're uh, moving back to the uh, this EFAP ones. Um, I'm glad your focus is on the on this instead of the boys. There's so much more to be said here. Hope it's nice and long. But we'll say, the boys' video mm. is going to be longer than that video. As for whether or not there's more to say, I actually do understand that there might be more to say about the Snyder Cut, because I certainly didn't cover everything. Um, the thing is, the script, or at least if the video was able to be created on the spot, um, it would have been like 40 minutes, and then it got expanded into an hour and a half, and then expanded again into two, and then two hours 20. Um, the reason that happened is because while we were creating it, uh, you know, you keep finding things, as you go through different scenes, looking for more references and evidence and stuff, and then you're like, oh my god, but this thing, this thing, this thing, this thing. And already, like, since the video's come out, there's already more stuff uh, that's fucking wrong with it, but... That's the way it works. Remember how long it took us to stop finding things wrong with TLJ? Was it like two years? <laughs> I'm sure th we'll hear something somewhere that's a new issue that we haven't thought of. The Snyderverse is dead. Bury it. True. Kill it if you have to. Damn you, long man. Going live or pre-recorded just as I'm about to go to sleep. Late man bad. Uh, that's the thing. I did want to uh, pop the video out earlier that day, but that was as soon as it was done processing. That's the, uh, that was the best I could do. Our boy Miles Dyson sacrificing himself for mankind again. Yeah, I know, man. He's, uh, he's unfortunate in these uh, fantasy worlds. I feel like I need to pay to watch this video, so here you go. Cheers, uh, cheers, dog. Love your rages. Well, I'm g glad you're having Woo. fun with them, yeah. Thanks for the content, long man. No problemo. The only virtue of comic book movies are the cosplays for me to film in the future. Hey, as long as you're getting something out of it, you know. <laughs> that Disney check came in the mail a day early, huh? <laughs> like I... The last thing we did was destroy one division. Hmm. <laughs> Disney, like, um, listen, if you never say anything bad about us ever again, we will pay you a lot of money. Also, if you've shown the Snyder Cut, double money. And when Rags <laughs> and I heard that, we were like, oh. oh, oh. It seems as if our interests align. Disney, give me that, that, that cosmic money. That's how much they were going to give, right? Yeah, I'm still waiting on my last paycheck. I know, Disney, come on. Fuck. I'm, I'm not a disnoid for free. Well, looking at. Kalel, yeah, my no. integrity ain't cheap. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> Mole, uh, no. <laughs> no. No. Uh, you fell off after Star Wars uh, ended, you. Sorry, you fell off after Star Wars ended, you peaked, lol. Wait, so you're saying. Okay. So Star Wars ended and then I peaked. So, so Star Wars ended okay. relatively recently, so you're saying this is my peak? Cause, this is yeah. his peak? Yeah, uh, all I was right. about to say. I mean, I appreciate the support. Thanks, um, man. Yeah. 
Obviously, I hope to be able to improve as time goes on, but I'm glad you enjoyed the video so much to, to, to send me money to say that. That's very kind of you. Yeah, um, a lot of work went into analyzing that horrifically bad movie. So, yeah. yeah. I mean, this guy loved it, man. So I'm That's just glad we're enjoying it. Um, Armani Martinez is an orphan. Oh, damn. <laughs> Them fight. You say that because the guy said, Infinity War praised, we all remember that. Yeah, there's lots to praise in Infinity War. Yeah, there's a lot of really good stuff in Infinity War, guys. A there's... lot of great character stuff. Thanos is quite the villain. Um, yeah, and then oh. Thor's got fantastic moments in it. The same for Iron Man, Spider-Man, uh, Star-Lord, Vision. The characters are quite well taken care of in that movie. Uh, the plot is less so, and then the <laughs> world building less so again. But, you know, it's not perfect, but man, did they do a pretty good job in that first half. Um, I, I, I just saw, saw a tweet uh, that says Net that apparently Netflix is in talks to pay $400 million to develop two sequels to Knives Out. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Ryan Johnson will return to direct and Daniel Craig will reprise his role as Benoit Blanc. Benoit Blanc? Yeah, I think that was the name. Benoit Blanc. Yeah. Yeah. Source is from Deadline. Well, yeah. it can't be worse than yeah. Knives Out, right? Whatever he makes next. So this, uh, I, I don't know. All bets are off. <laughs> Fuck you'll it. find a way. Nothing makes sense anymore. <laughs> uh, do you owe your career to Senpai Ryan Johnson? Well, in a way, um, I don't think he would appreciate the sentiment if it were explained to him in full context. I feel like my career is owed to what I did with his content rather than simply his content, but hey. He think... gets a big assist. Yeah, because obviously... That's how I found out about Mahler. Is, yeah, and, uh, and unbridled rage for TLJ. I've, I've talked about this before, but um, the film that first brought me the closest to making a TLJ rant was Interstellar. I almost started scripting it, but um, because I've talked about this before, but I had that thought of like, um, nah, nah, just the your good old fashioned like, nah, just don't though, and then your brain just goes, okay, I won't. And honestly, like, I wish I did start back then. Um, because I, I love talking about films, and I just I just figured that there's just no point, really. And then TLJ pissed me off so much, so I was like, no, I don't really care, I'm making this video no matter what. And so if it wasn't TLJ, it would have been something else, and something else, and, uh... Yeah, you know, what, what whatever ends up making me rant online. I guess I owe it to a lot of people. Um... This is like when Ralph made the rant on Joker. Um... I mean, <laughs> no. So Ralph was fucking wrong. He just got basic information incorrect. Yeah, like and he, uh, he didn't make a lot of arguments against Joker's writing. Uh, I made, I want to say, like th fucking like three hundred points or some shit. I haven't like categorized them, but obviously the the style of the video I make is I start out with like a bullet point list of everything they fucked up and I have to convert that into a, like an entertaining sort of ride through with explanations. Because if I was to list off all of the issues I find with the writing, it would be a much more boring video. The idea is like to wave in and out and stuff. But you know, uh, I picture this this person did not like the video and that that is okay. Yeah, it's a shame that you have shitty taste and you can't be objective and you let your emotions and your feelings get the best of you. But you know what? Um, um, Wonder Woman sounds like Borat. <laughs> Kalel, no. <laughs> Kalel, very nice. Very nice. Have fun. Oh, Kalel, you're doing very nice. Oh. <laughs> uh, oh my God, on some real no, that's Jeff Johns rewrites. Uh, I don't know what they're referring to specifically, but whatever Jeff Johns, uh, did, or whatever, like, if, if, if the implication is that, uh, whatever I've pointed out is something that's bad on the writing part of Zack Snyder, and you wanted to say that the particular thing was done by Jeff Johns, um, I would want to caution that there are a myriad of examples for bad writing that I attribute to Zack Snyder, so as long as you can take care of every single one of them, we'll be alright. Somehow, yep. I doubt you're going to be able to do that. Yes. You know, aim low, start with, like, three. Um, Mola, Justice League 2017 is overhated. They've got this in quotes, I, guess, I presume, to try and own me. Uh, 
I don't know that I consider it overhated. It's overhated. Uh, but yeah. Zack Snyder's Justice League is fucking underhated or underrated. It's obviously the uh, which can happen. You know, because like that's not it's not really a fucking a hot take. It's it's way worse than it's being uh, celebrated as. So, yeah. But like everyone kind of hates Justice uh, Justice League, and Justice League is really bad. I, I I'm more than happy with the hate it gets. I just find it staggering that uh. That, that, that Snyder's been sort of... Because, you know, a lot of people who made videos on how bad Justice League is... Um, uh, uh, Wolf made one uh, back in the day. Uh, a lot of the criticisms would apply to Snyder's. He didn't fix the plot. Like, he made it worse. And for he some reason... He made it longer and worse. Yeah, and it's just not really cared about. I don't it's know, it's surprising. Impressive. People just don't give a shit. People don't really... Ugh. It it kind of frustrates me. Mm -hmm. Gotta share a planet with these people. I'm sorry. Um, I tip the homeless IRL and YouTube uwu. <coughs> okay. <laughs> hmm. Um, you can't kill Darkseid with mere arrows. Well, they came close. <laughs> like, yeah. Why can't you? Well, but I could explain, Rax. He is a multiverse creature. Oh, multiverse that fucking axe went into him and almost did the trick. Well, well, axe is Why didn't Ares finish him off on the ground? Oh, he got distracted. Remember in the scene, he like for some reason the the fucking king of this army that's invading your beloved planet. Because remember, Ares fucking adores Earth. He decides, I'm gonna leave yeah, you now him. and deal with a parademon demon over there. Even though, oh fuck, Ares could have just nuked him. Remember, remember Ares' powers from Wonder Woman. He's a strong boy. He can teleport. Yeah, he can... Oh right, yeah. <laughs> Jeez, I can't believe I didn't even include Ares, that. Ares, the God of War, is really shit at his job. Oh man. <laughs> no wonder you lost the Wonder Woman. This is what I mean. It's like I'm gonna have to make a second video as enough time passes so I can uh, <laughs> catch all the shit I missed. No, don't do it. You, you have to watch your next it again. Video, put it. Put your next video in four by three in black and white. <laughs> And call it the Mahler cut. Why didn't he say that to Darkseid? When Darkseid's like, I'm gonna take over your planet, and then Ares goes, Oh, yes? Then I will destroy you for the trees. <laughs> it's funny you just said that Rex Capital O just posted almost the same thing in the Snyder what? Cut group. Hmm? Yeah, oh, did he? Let me. Yeah, he wrote, You should upload your Snyder Cut video again in black and white, but don't change anything else about it. <laughs> Hashtag Tag Rampage, Rampage is Grey. <laughs> I like that. Oh my god, that'd be funny. And I add loads of just me, like, like parts of the video are just me, but longer. Like, I just say the same thing with loads of gaps, and then I slow down all of my clips. Oh my god. It's almost good enough for me to do, but I just, I, I, I don't know. I don't know if it's worth the meme. That is pretty good shit. <laughs> Justice is gray. Um, Batwoman levels of music. The music was surprising, to say the fucking least. Some Such of the music was choices. good, but it was very poorly used. Yeah. Yes. Slow motion points. I'm like... This scene doesn't make sense. <laughs> One point two million. Uh, this just says new Super Mario Maker two creator here. Cool. Hello. Oh, um, hi. Yeah, have fun with that. I suppose. Good luck. Yeah, enjoy it. What up? Have some money, you beautiful Welshman. You. This is so good. How did you even get this out so quick? Also, hi Rex. Hey there. Uh. Essentially, slave driving. It was it was quite a thing, um, and I don't ever want to have to do it for any video ever again. But I think it was worth it. It's good shit. Uh, hi, Rex. Hey there. I released a forty-nine minute video on God of War today, which took me a month to make, and was foolish enough to believe I had mastered the long, sad face. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Look, everyone, the disciples of the long, they they're coming along. Okay, it's it's a tough one. But, um, good stuff, man. Stay the course. Good start. <clears throat> Money to spite Snyder fans. Oh, they were in the <laughs> chat when they sent that. Oh. Release the Slonald cut. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Slonald cut. Uh, like, how many planets does Darkseid want Steppenwolf to take? 
He just goes, what? We're like, yes, 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 say it. <laughs> this video is hilarious and the Snyder Simps made it even better. Ha ha. Oof. Sorry, Correct. Snyder lads. Getting, getting wrecked there. All right, and that's it for the, the Rampage ones. Now on to Ooh. today's ones. Good How God. exciting. Yes. Uh, currently working on my own Snyder Cut video, so I will save your video until after I'm done. Curious to see what we were on the same page for. Oh, I'm, uh, if if you thought it, it made no sense, we're probably going to line up on a couple of things. Uh, congrats on the Unbridled Rampage, Mauler. You and Meme Repository did a great job. Thank you very much. Glad you, glad you enjoyed it. Amazing review, Mauler. It'll change a lot of minds. I've already had a lot of uplifting messages about that. Uh, the, my favorites are when they're like, holy shit, like, I didn't even remember those scenes from Justice League, and it's like, yes. Yeah, not, I bet a lot of people we. saw it the one time when it came out, and never really again. Just, the, I was honestly fucking blown away by the, the Bruce Alfred one. I didn't even believe what I was seeing. I was like, th this scene happened? It's like, this is something, though. Holy shit. Uh, why do you spend so much time hating things, they say, as they spend time talking about how much they hate you? I... Again, you can spend time talking about stuff you love, but if you talk about stuff you hate, you piss people off. Not allowed! They get very upset. Lots of tisms in the premiere chat from the Snyder crew. Oh yeah, it was, uh, we were in a call while, while it was premiering, and uh, many a laugh was had. Some of the stuff they were saying was fucking, the cope was insane. So, I can use the lube, be right back. Oh no, but someone just said hi, Rags. With a pee pee. <laughs> uh, the surface of the sun is 5,778 Kelvin. Um, is that true? <laughs> Sorry? The surface of the sun is apparently 5,778 Kelvin. Uh, I don't know. I know that the... The core, the you core, said, was 4 million, core of right? the sun. Sorry? Did you say the core was 4 million Kelvin or 5? Six? Yeah, 4, 4.5 4. million. Wait. Mm. Sun, core, Kelvin... Not Kevin, Kelvin. <laughs> uh, it's the hottest part of the sun in the solar system, has density, blah, blah, blah. At the center, and a temperature of 15 million Kelvins. Oh, all right. Sun is 6,000 degrees Celsius. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, Muller, in your most Welsh accent, can you please say, we're not so different, you and I? There you go. It will go over really well. We needed a Welsh dark side. That would have fixed it, okay? Release the Welsh cut. Amazed that you haven't done any fat movies on the God's Not Dead films. Rags would either love them or hate them. I think he would love those movies. If he hasn't seen them already. Um, for obvious reasons. Which is more destructive to the DCEU? Flash's time travel? Uh, from Zack Snyder's Justice League? Or Wonder Woman 84's wish system? So the wish system is self-contained for that movie. However, the damage it does in that movie is almost impossible to quantify. Like, it is insane. The, the, <sighs> the degree of damage that has been committed by the Wish system in that movie, I don't know how I would be able to explain it in an easy way. And so, we over at EFAP have concluded that, that is still the biggest flaw in any of the DC films. And so what I usually end up saying is Wonder Woman 84 is still the worst of the set, but only by technicality. Uh, Zack Snyder's Justice League did a lot more to earn the spot of being the lowest, but it can't quite get there because Wonder Woman 84's wish system is incredible in terms of the damage it deals. Mega Trump card. Um, to make something more nonsensical than that is going to be really hard. Uh, also, hi, Rags. Hey there. Hi guys, I really like seeing Muller and Fringy on Adam and Sitch's podcast, but our favorite doggo didn't show up. Please, Rags, please. Also, hi, Rags. Hi. Next time, I'll be there if they want me. Mm-hmm. Um, I may like the SCJL, uh, Snyder Cut Justice League. I recognize its issues, of course. Your Unbridled Rampage video is really good. Awesome job, long man. Mootle's laugh is TT, by the way. TT? I don't understand. I don't know. What is what is what is this new lingo? Chat. What is TT? What does it mean to be TT? Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Thanks. Uh, <clears throat> we worked a whole bunch on it. We're glad that people are enjoying it. 
Uh, hey, gents. These dollars are long overdue. Thank you for the years of great content and for trying to make writing better. Also, hi, Jay, and kick rags. No. Oh, apparently top tier is Oh, TT. top tier. That oh. uh, makes sense. Well, th thanks. <laughs> um... And yeah, thank you. Uh, I said the same thing. It was the same movie with more padding. The trailers were bait. The plot is literally the same. Uh, yeah, the only difference is, uh, honestly, just fucking fuck the whole plot even more. Like, that's, that seemed like all the Silas stuff, man. Jesus Christ. Uh, your rampage was delightful. Screw the Snyder Cut. I mean, kind of, yeah, it was really bad. That's usually how we do it over here. Uh, I thought I was the only one that didn't like the Snyder Cut. Even Red Letter Media didn't shred it as I'd hoped. I thoroughly enjoyed your video on it. So one of the things that Meme Repository said was that um, hopefully the people who thought this film was shit will finally have like a place that they can come out of the woodwork because the praise has been ubiquitous across the fucking internet. It's been insane. And so um, the idea that like you, you have a video that's getting you know, a couple people like, fuck this video is terrible. You might have someone be like Oh, they didn't like it. Hmm. I might, I might give it a shot and be like, hey, they noticed the same stuff that I did. That sort of stuff. Uh, Robot Head is lame. I'm not sure he's as smart as he think he do. Um, also, no amount of he's personal tragedy not. could make Snizhen good. Oh, hey, remember Snizhen? Snizhen? Yeah, the Snyder Vision. Snizhen. Wanda Snizhen? <laughs> no, no. Um, yeah, I mean... <sighs> A lot of people are going to obviously... The, I honestly think everybody who makes a video on the Snyder Cut is probably going to be in opposition to mine in terms of the general take. So don't be surprised that, like, someone's probably... There are going to be plenty of people referencing how wrong I am at this point. That's going to be fine. Uh, can't wait for Zack Snyder's Wanda Snision. Oh, right after. Wanda Snision. <laughs> <laughs> oh, really? Okay. <laughs> uh, hey, Mola, I just read a comment on the... Uh, oh, Snyder Cut Rampage. And I have to say, your work ethic is an inspiration to me. Great video and Godspeed with your next projects. And hi, Moodle and Rags. Hi. Hey, what up? Uh, yeah, I, I pinned a comment. I saw a couple of comments that were getting likes saying, like, this is proof that Mola could be working a lot faster and he doesn't. And I was like, oh man, that's really sad to see from the, my community. <laughs> I thought that they could tell the difference that this is not the kind of thing a normal person would be able to do. And then you remember that bit that happens at the end that says I didn't make it on my own? I thought that might have been a giveaway that I didn't make it on my own. Um, but I just wanted, I needed to make it clear in a big old message. Uh, very little sleep and constant work since watching the film. Uh, and I even described like the process of changing my mind again and again about how I was going to cover it because it was supposed to be just the EFAP and then it was supposed to be just a small individual video where I sort of casually talk about how shit I thought it was on the Moolah channel and then I was like, maybe a mainline channel and then I was like, actually, fuck it, it's a rage um, and I had to, I needed help to be able to make it fast and obviously Meme Repository was making the EFAP movies so I was like, hey, he can, he can edit really well he knows the shit out of DZ stuff, and he likes the channel, so he probably knows a lot about my editing. Maybe we can join forces. Um, Muller, I just wanted to let you know, Darth Moneybags is watching, and I know, I know what you did, there will be retribution. Oh no. Who's Darth Moneybags? <laughs> uh, I thought it was just, just... Is that Disney, I or...? I, I guess. Money bags. I don't think Disney yeah. would be upset at me, would they? For the Snyder Cut stuff? No, Snyder Cut, no. I'm sure they hate me a little bit for the Mandalorian and WandaVision stuff, though. <laughs> uh, missed you, Rags. Kisses and hugs. Rags. Oh, thank you. Yeah, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> uh, hi, Rags. Hi. You should consult with Smudboy or watch his videos on Mass Effect. Two and three are bad. ME3 being better than two is like Man of Steel being better than Wonder Woman 84. Okay, I don't really care though. Yeah, I, and I know nothing about him. I don't know. I um, will you make a WandaVision video? No. I, the, there's an EFAP where I honestly think that EFAP is really good. It's like um, as a breakdown. We, I think it's, is it five hours of about eight people 
going through partially chronologically, but mainly covering every subject that is in WandaVision and shredding the film with uh, some visual references Max in the background. That could be converted into like a mainline video, but I I want to work on the boys, so I, I don't know about I don't know about that. Um, why does Superman order nothing in his drink? He's a big fan of just ice. <laughs> nice. Ah, there you go. <laughs> uh, Caught me off guard. I really hope we don't have to hear that yodel every time Wonder Woman shows up. Famous last words from me early on in the Snyder Cut watch party. <laughs> Did Southpaw say that? That's hilarious if you fucking said that. <laughs> Holy shit. Wonder rags, yodeling intensifies. <laughs> Just need like a little, little animation of the mouth opening up and then the fucking soundtrack. So much of it. So cringe. Uh, wow, Im imagine working non-stop for two weeks. Couldn't be me. Maybe I need to take a page from your book. Take a long rest, Dumbo, then play DDLC later. Uh, yeah, I, I mean, I, I'm definitely gonna take maybe a day or two off to remember what it was like to not stare at Vegas. That would be a nice <laughs> thing to do. Um, I see people in chat getting triggered about anime, so I just want to remind everyone that JoJo is trash, and you <laughs> should watch Mob Psycho 100, Mola. Fair enough. Uh, besides Cyborg's improved characterization, mm -hmm. what would you say was good about the Snyder Cut? His Alfred. characterization was not improved. Well, so well, if we tear it up into pieces, um, there's lots of bits that are really, like, honestly stuff that I would keep. I'd be like, oh man, the, um, the flashback of the accident and the relationship with his dad getting more informed, um, but we need, mm -hmm. to, we need to add so much to it. We gotta flesh that bitch out. We gotta be like, Gotta have some conversation. Uh, one of the ideas we had, I think this is on Free Stream. I, I can't remember where, but um, not in like a horrifying way. But let's say that um, I don't know if we can contrive this. I'd have to look into how this actually works. But you know, like, uh, can you? How would it work if Cyborg needed to be kept alive, but like in a state that's really, really horrible, like on multiple machines? And would he have control over that, or would his dad? And would it depend on age? I don't know if anyone knows all the answers to these questions, but if, for example, you c yeah, if, for example, he was in pain and he was like incredibly uncomfortable, because obviously you can contrive the accident to make that the case, and his dad won't let him die, if you know what I mean, he won't let him go, and you could have him gradually, like that could have been something that happened over a, a decent amount of time before this whole cyborg stuff happened, and so he holds that against his dad, but then. You know, the arc can be that it led to something incredible. I don't know if that's a little too dark or not. I don't know how to handle that exactly, but I would want something more because the hatred he has for his father is a little wonky in the movie. And, yeah, um, they don't, they do a very bad job getting the audience to empathize with his position. <clears throat> Fuck the world. Uh, once Victor's over 18, he can decide that for himself. So could I theoretically contrive it that he is under that age and then make it so that um, uh, his dad prevents that decision from going forward? We can... Uh, we, I don't know, I, I don't want to go like a horror direction for reference. I wanted to, I just want... I want the characters to be better, okay? We, we have to... We'll keep some stuff and then we'll add loads of flesh to it, but... Uh, yeah, so you could say that I liked portions of, of his characterization. I don't know that I had much of a problem with anything to do with Alfred, I guess except him blasting that fucking gun just casually in his like office. That was a bit stupid, but like whatever. He's just that much of a chad. Yeah, he just he knows it's gonna work. He was just trying to make Wonder Woman think this was a a a fifty fifty sort of thing. Um Ooh, in one of the Justice animated movies, the mother box activates and explodes while Cyborg's holding it and it fuses with his body. That sounds horrifying as well. Man, so much room to make dark shit in this, huh? Uh, what else was improved in the Snyder Cut? I think we went over this earlier. It's really hard for us to figure this out, I'm sorry. <laughs> we did, yeah, we did the I, I kind of don't know. Uh, I thoroughly enjoyed the L.A. Noir joke in The Rage. Yeah, honestly, the, um, the funny thing is, one of the things I was worried about with that video was that I didn't do enough of a- I, d I usually do, like, a joke pass in the videos where I try and 
figure out where they're all at and, and see pacing wise where they're landing and when and, and try and improve them or uh, alter them depending on what I think of the flow but like the jokes worked out apparently people really liked a lot of them um, I will say the film made it easy for a lot of the jokes to come up um, and then the EFAB community having made on a farm uh, uh, and stuff <laughs> and the maybe jokes like oh they were they were easy um, but good fun uh, hey guys, I'd love to know your thoughts on The Lighthouse Beyond, it's just good. I thought it was excellent, and I'd love to know what you guys thought. Um, I'm sure there's an EFAP where we went into some detail, because it was soon after we'd seen it. Uh, problem now is, like, I wouldn't be able to reference Remembering specifics. It, yeah. Uh, I know, well, obviously the fucking acting is phenomenal. The acting um, is insane. That's, that's the go-to mm -hmm. for my praise. Yeah, it's just uh, the, how good the acting is. Incredibly strong atmosphere created by like not only the the look, the colors, the the place itself, sound design, all the different like ways they were framing the shots. Then the um the fact that the film just gradually gets more and more absurd in terms of like you know that this isn't he's not safe here. This isn't normal. Yeah, this isn't quite right. This isn't a normal place. Yeah. Um. Because this is the thing, I'm trying to think of, like, dialogue to reference, but I honestly can't remember specific lines. The fucking speech Willem Dafoe did blew my mind. I was like... That was one of those things yeah. where you're just like, can you please <laughs> hand him an Oscar, please? Like, just... No, nope, I don't even think he got nominated. No, uh, I don't think so, yeah. Everyone got really annoyed about that. Which is fair. <laughs> um, I was, yeah, I was pretty fucking annoyed at that. That's uh, ridiculous. Just shows those things are... A, those things are just a sham. Yeah, and it felt like there was plenty to pick up. There was shit tons of allegory, and then uh, I don't know. I, I again, I'd have to watch it again to be able to give a better shot at sort of references and stuff. But uh, thoroughly enjoyed it. Uh, Twenty nineteen was fun toward the end for movies. A whole bunch came out there. I was like, oh man, these are, this is good shit. Um, hello, rags. Hi. And also Black Metal Commander. Yo. Booyah! Yeah, you whitewashed him. What the fuck, Mel? It was me. I was button brown beard. Uh, the MCU has embodied the phrase, you either die a hero or live long enough to see yourself become the villain. I mean, they could still put out something good at some point, you know? Maybe. Which, but it, it's just getting increasingly doubtful, right? Like, we're, the hope is being lost. Um... And, like, they did suck at many intervals, so, you know, it might just be this constant where we look in every once in a while and we're like, oh, that's better, eh. But, uh, Suck. yeah, I understand. Um, I don't know if anyone said this, but hi, Rags. Hi! No, I think you're the first one. Good job. Uh, what's with The Last of Us 2 video? Is it replaced by The Boys? Pretty much, yeah. The Boys took over The Last of Us 2 one, and unfortunately The Boys is enormous, so... Once I'm done with The Boys, I will then figure out what I'm doing next. Um, but as as is with me, there's no guarantee of exactly what video is coming next. I try to go with me old heart, you know. Hence the um, I'll tell you what I'm working on, but um, I'll never want to explicitly promise any video ever because it's only going to upset you guys. Okay. Uh, funnily enough, there was no promise of the Snyder Cut video. It just sort of fell out at the end of uh the EFAB because I thought it'd be funny to to say because it was already um like three quarters at that point, without, obviously, um, uh, redrafting. Snyder used cut. It wasn't very effective. Oh. Hmm. Noise. I like it. I like it. Uh, hi, Moopa, Mootle, and Rags. Hello. Howdy. Hello. I was the one who made the precisely super chat last time. Just a silly observation, but got me a call out on Southpaw's Twitter, and don't worry, it's all good now, hopefully. Yeah, yeah, no. Precisely? No problem. Well, they said that they noticed he was relying on it as a word, which... Oh, I got you. Yeah, I remember that now. Like I said, I'm pretty sure I, pretty sure I do that. I know Metal does it. He says Pinocchio all the time. Shut up, Pinocchio. Pinocchio? Not even a good insult, oh. Mel. Shut up, you cabbage, Pinocchio. Your nose gets oh bigger God. when you lie and you're made of wood, and I hope you die in a mud puddle. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Um... If JJ was passionate about Star Wars and Star Trek, I'm very concerned for the Superman film. 
Uh, yeah, I mean, I would be concerned. I would be concerned about anything JJ's making. He's got tropes. Yeah, I'd be very concerned. Um, I don't expect it to be a good Superman movie, but I wouldn't mind checking it out. Let's let's hope he can do something, right? Um, what was your favorite part supposed to be, Alfred? I am. <laughs> um, listen, okay. I when I saw him, I was just like, the fuck is that supposed to be, Alfred? Like, what the hell? I don't know. Jeremy Irons, my favorite part. Uh, first time being on a stream live, have you been working my way, oh sorry, have been working my way through all the EFAPs the past two months and make my work day go by so much faster. You guys are amazing, keep up the great work, also hire rags. Hi! <laughs> uh, yeah, glad you're enjoying them. It's always been a fun thing to hear that they can get people through work, because uh, we, yeah. we happen to hold a topic for a yeah. long time, so if you particularly invest in anyone, you can expect many hours where we're just... Rattling on as you do. Uh, mutually, you massive. Your new vid is excellent. Also, please look into getting a dose of Buckley as a guest at some point. Y'all would have a great convo. Or great convos. Um, but yeah, maybe. I don't who know knows? who that is. I don't know who that is either. I've heard of the name before. Um, so, perhaps. And yeah, thank you. Um, well, little buddy, our hilariously phallic route has led us to crash the ship into the... Sway, Suez, Sway Canal, blocking 12... Oh, wait, how is that pronounced? S-U-E-Z. Suez? Is it Suez? Yeah, maybe. Um, Suez, yeah. Blocking 12% of local commerce in a swift but surprisingly simple motion. Yeah, I was... Uh, a friend of mine told me that, because I, I was so disconnected from, like, news. Um, uh, it's fixed now, right? They, they, they sorted it out? I think so. There's been some really good memes. That's for sure. A lot it, of good memes. Didn't it like, it, it like had catastrophic knock-on effects, right? In terms of the economy or something? Yeah, I think that's something something like that. Dang Wait, it. what? No, I wasn't listening. Uh, the... the Suez Canal blockage. Oh, yeah. yeah. Apparently there were even uh, graphics cards uh, stuck there. Oh, no. <laughs> so that, yeah. <laughs> As if we needed that to happen. State of emergency. <laughs> yeah, lots of stuff. Apparently a lot of livestock as well. And they didn't have enough food. I don't know how they oh, solved all that stuff. Yeah. I mean, it's like 300 ships that got stuck in there. And then the, all the other ships had to go around, which is like thousands of kilometers Damn. of a uh, different path. It's, yeah, it's crazy. <clears throat> um, so maybe I missed something, but did Batman murder Lois in the future in the Snyder Cut? If it was the anti life equation, they never mentioned it, and Lois wouldn't be able to reverse that. So. What I understand them trying to bait is that <clears throat> Batman might have killed Lois and Superman went evil. What I think they're probably doing is that Batman made a choice that led to Lois's death. Superman got very mad, and then Darkseid probably fucking mind controlled him. That's mm. probably what it actually is, because yeah, that makes ahead, more sorry. sense than not than doing it as though you know what Lois is dead. I'm just going to be evil now. It's like mm. what? No. Don't don't they say in one of the cuts? I don't know which one. Uh, like you let Lois die or something. Well, I don't know in which cut that was, but th yeah, that that's was the like thing. the wording. And so you let her die, and not you killed her. Yeah, and it's, so and so we we don't know for sure what happened, and obviously they're relying yeah. on that. Um, so yeah, uh, you know, I don't know that we'll ever. I don't know if there's notes or interviews somewhere where he um he's gone over what the original plan was, but I don't know. Sure, it's terrible. Um, doo -doo -doo. Where was I? There we go. Why'd the army shoot at Superman after he was reborn and defended himself from attack by four superpowered strangers? Well, that whole sequence is bizarre. Do you think the army would have been like, holy fuck, that, that weird robot man fired a rocket at this other guy who's standing <laughs> there? Like, how do you even react? Who to I know is Superman, yeah. I, because I, I don't even think I bothered questioning any of it because it's all so crazy. Like, any decision could be because he fires back at the guy who fired a rocket at him, and then that guy deflects that laser <laughs> into a cop car in the background. Mm. Who, who do we hate in this scenario? <laughs> like, I guess both. You could do like a whole 10 15 minute section on, on, on this scene alone in a video. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you so could. much happening that's weird and makes no sense. They release the storyboards, their shit. No way. <laughs> of course they are. 
Uh, I like Falcon and Winter Soldier, but the bank scene almost killed the show for me. Cap and Tony apparently didn't help the families of their teammates. I have no idea what that's referencing. Uh -oh. We will talk about Falcon and Winter Soldier eventually. <clears throat> Whatever it may be. Uh, just got to the part with the super chat saying what they did to Luke and TLJ, what they did to Aaron in Attack on Titan. Whoever wrote that super chat is legit brain dead. Again, I'm just a guy. It's like they talk about anime in front of us, hoping that we will talk about it. <laughs> I don't. Yeah, it's like they're speaking a different language. I have no idea. I and I, I, I haven't seen that 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 season yet. So once yeah, Mel I don't know who you're it, talking to. He can confirm <laughs> which one is correct. There you go. I don't even remember what the initial take was. <laughs> Uh, the, the main character was assassinated, I think, in the final episode or something. I never liked the main character anyway, so fuck you. Oh. Yeah. Um, good writers <laughs> tend to show heroes actively try to cause as little destruction as possible. Hacks tend to just say... Uh... Trying to find it. Did they do a second one? Oh. Heroes cause collateral damage and it's never been a problem before, missing the point that the other writers justify such damage with the scale of the threat. Um, a cool comparison for this, we actually just were, were chatting on the fly in Fringy stream, so there's this part in Avengers where Iron Man is, um, he notices, you know the big weird floaty turtle things, I, I can't remember what they're called, but you know what I'm talking about, the big, the big wombuses in uh, Avengers that attack New York, the, the, they're like big little monster things. Uh, the, like, the slithery ones? Yeah, they, like, float. Like big sky snakes? Yeah. He, uh, Iron Man, one of them is heading into a building, and Iron Man gets close-ish to it, and fires flares, and distracts it, and then it comes for him because of the flares. And it moves away from the building and scrapes by it instead of knocking it down. And so it's like, oh, Iron Man is desperately trying to stop it from dealing as much damage as possible, but it's damage is still being done. It's like, as long as we see him doing uh, as much as he can to reduce, that'll be fine. And I'm not saying that there's only that throughout that scene. If we look at it really carefully, maybe there isn't, but... Fucking Clark rams Zod's head into a <laughs> skyscraper over and over again. Like, what the hell? It's bizarrely bad. It's like they want to kill people. <laughs> And they're like, hey man, it's early in Clark's career. It's like, that's not reasoning. Stop yeah, but it. I've never been a superhero and I know not to do that. Oh, but Rags, is it your first day as Super Wonder Man woman? Who knows? Maybe you'll kill a bunch of people. I don't know. Um, I'm going to peace out now. I'm getting tired and it's getting late. So you guys have fun in the bun. Thanks for hanging, Mr. Sure. Bowler. Catch you around. Yeah. yeah, catch you around. Goodbye. Oh boy. Bye bye. Um, I'm in Cabo enjoying the sun for a bit, so I have to miss this EFAP. Hopefully, you get to my super chat about Amnesia Rebirth from last EFAP. I would love to see you guys destroy that article if uh, only for a moment. I don't, I don't want to read it. Um, I considered telling you about some of the tisms <laughs> in that article. But makes me upset. They are indeed tisms. You understand, guys? I loved Amnesia and Soma. I don't like. I don't like that they did that. I don't like that they made that game. It makes me sad. Um, but maybe. Who knows? Uh, just finished rewatching your Last of Us 2 playthrough. I think I'm addicted to pain. It's insane how terrible it is. Still planning a rage video, I hope? So, once the boys one is done, that will be next in the queue. Unfortunately, by then, who knows what's come out? Who knows what the state of the world for media is? Um... So like I I like again I don't want to promise anything. I want to make the video, but wanting it and then it happening, you know. Yeah, you there's a lot know. of videos I want to make. Yeah. So, um, no promises, folks. But I um I'd already started it up production wise, and I have plenty to work with for making that video. Uh, but yeah, no no promises. Yeah, do do. Mola, what's your opinion on the Breaking Bad episode, The Fly? So, I know what you what one you're referencing, of course, and uh, it was... I don't think it was worth the time code. I liked um, a few of the payoffs in it, but um, I wasn't that impressed as a connoisseur of bottle episodes. I quite like them. Um, I don't think it was as worthwhile, but this is not... Because a lot of people consider that like evidence that Ryan Johnson sucks. It's like, well... I think he did great in um, Ozymandias. 
So I haven't got any conclusions like that to make, but I would need to rewatch it again to give uh you know more more of a thing about it. <laughs> Someone said all talk, no videos. I put one out yesterday. Right there. Flash could, for example, unleash a time boom that sends shockwaves through time, altering things in weird ways. Wouldn't it be nice if someone had thought of that? Maybe DC could write a comic. Uh, I think there's something to work with that, for, for, for that, for sure, yeah. Uh, like, if every rewinds time, it, like, ripples out and fucks with things? I don't know. You know, something would be neat. A time game. Time travel. Uh, Seth did nothing wrong. <laughs> True. Seth Seth made some awesome sandwiches, okay? Uh, Jay hasn't watched Lord of the Rings because then you'll have to come to terms with the fact that he has golem teeth. Oh my god. They're called British teeth. How dare you? Uh, the real question to ask concerning Zack Snyder's Justice League is what is Snyder trying to contribute to canon of Jesus allegories and how successful is he? This is real. Kill me. Um, so uh, someone sent that. I can't remember if it was the Discord or the, or the Twitter, but um, this was the same person who said, why would you try and find uh, like logical things in a superhero movie? They're not supposed to make sense. They also said... Wouldn't it be more worthwhile to spend the video looking into what Snyder has contributed to the canon of Jesus allegories and how successful was he? So, um, I don't know if you guys really want to see me make that video. Uh, I hope you guys watch Invincible on Amazon Prime video. The first three episodes are really good. I don't know if you're the same one that said that earlier, but, uh, I have now heard about Invincible twice. Two times. Um, Rags, there's an anime called RE0, that's a variation of what you suggested, he returns by death, basically rewinds back whenever he dies. I mean, yeah, you could probably make a show mm. out of that, I guess. Uh, hey guys, have you seen Superman and Lois? If yes, what did you think? If no, I would recommend it, it's great for getting rid of the bad taste from Snyder's Superman. I've only heard relatively positive things about that show. Yeah. Um, it is CW, so it makes me raise an eyebrow. I imagine their plot lines are still pretty silly, but um, if they've got Superman, you know, saving people, that'd be pretty neat to watch. That'd be cool. Uh, Muller, if you created a kingdom or empire, what would you call it? Uh, what was the what was the EFAP one called? Was it EFAPonia? Apollon. I would I would happily try and link it to EFAP in some way, shape, or form. Also, what positions would most EFAP guests like Shad and Rags, even Metal, would have? Ask them uh, when you have the chance. Like Juvid. Well, thank you. And uh, mm -hmm. I had an empire. Well, I mean, I want to make sh Rags choose his own position. Probably the same with all of them, of course. And uh, I'm guessing Shad would be the castle architect as well as like the main knight of so of sorts. Mm -hmm. Wombonia, Womboland. I'm okay with Womboland. Yeah, that'd be pretty cool. Uh, Womboland. Metal would probably be the jester, and he would entertain everyone for miles. The official beer taster. He has both of those roles. Uh, Darkseid didn't use the Omega lasers when he could have, for no reason. I mean, yeah, from what I understand, his Omega Beams, they just fucking insta-kill everything. Like, it's what makes him super, super scary. They're the beams that, like, move in straight lines or whatever. Parallel lines. You see them in that flash-forward where he's in Aquaman's house, killing him by stabbing him with his own trident. How fucked up is that, Rags? Don't you want to see that yeah, movie? Yeah, that's messed up. Can't you, wait to see heroes getting impaled on shit and you then laser-beamed. That sounds great. You don't go to a man's house and stab him with his own trident. I think that's fucked. Like, where is your sense of... civility? There, I said it. Civality? Yep, that's a word now. I'm just surprised that Darkseid's massive interstellar fleet of ships didn't have a tiny thing called a camera to snapshot a picture of the math. Yeah, it's a shame. <laughs> I don't know that that's how it works. I have no idea. 
how you use that thing, you know? Like, oh, you, you have to sort of dig it up and put it into a machine or something, or eat it. I, I don't know. you dig it up right. Like, is it just... Yeah. Yeah. How deep do you have to dig? Just enough to scrape the glowy bits off? Or... <laughs> Maybe you have to lick it, and once it senses your DNA, it gives you the powers. You know, it could be anything. Uh, there is only one dark side. Well, I hope it wasn't the one from that movie. Yeah, that one stinks. Chad Alfred versus Wonder Woman, Dawn of Tea. Like, Dawn of Tea. None of us expected she knew how to make tea, let's be honest. Ned from Spider-Man is a better villain than Dark Side. Dude, it is a low bar. Darkseid was embarrassing in that movie. Uh, Rags, I thought you might have died. Haven't heard your voice in so long. Oh my goodness. Really? Well, you got it oh, now. Oh, well, here I've been. Uh, thoughts on No Country for Old Men? The film is superior. Love it. I mean, I was going to say, yeah. I, 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 I love the show of that film. I wouldn't mind watching that again. I haven't seen it in a while. Yeah, it's and, been a... Um, I'm pretty sure that when I first watched the coin scene, I remember it ending and being like, what the hell just happened? Like, that was horrifying. <laughs> it was just yeah, it was horrifying. Uh, the film is superbly written and has some of the best visual storytelling I've seen in film. Hi, Rags. Hi. Yeah, that's good shit. Um, not a fan of brutal Wonder Woman. Literally thought smashing up Bank was something Homelander would do. Yes, that is what Homelander would do. He would mash people's brains, and then he would smile for the camera and be like, I'm a hero. And that's kind of what's cool about him in terms of the, the character and the, the, the environment he's in. We can see people like cheering for him, but there's always going to be that element of like, oh my god, did he, did he have to do that? Did, did he? Hmm. And then, you know, over time it'll just wane because it's not a thing he's actually invested in. Unfortunately, they fucked Homelander up too, and that'll be... Something I'll go over in a future video, but uh, the concept of a hero that doesn't actually care to protect people, they're just doing it for the admiration. What you get is what Wonder Woman did. Fucking insane. The mother boxes don't make sense in this film because that isn't what they do. They are living supercomputers. Hell spores are what kill planets. Well, it doesn't matter if the, you swap the names, right? Like, it's just... I don't understand them as they are presented in the movie at all. It's the, the, I don't know what the limits are, I don't know what. Um, whenever they do anything, it's just kind of like, okay. Remember when fucking Steppenwolf sticks his hand in them and then they show him where the fucking equation is? What was that about? I, it's, I, I, I shudder to even think about approaching the mechanics of anything in this movie. Like, hey, Desaad, one of the boxes told me the equations here, by the way. <laughs> I imagine you'd be like, what do you mean the box told you? Do we trust the boxes? I guess they do. Uh, in BVS, Snyder Man watches the Senate burn, then sees Flash in super slow-mo. Snyder, not Whedon. Crap, Superman. Good casting wasted. Um... <clears throat> I mean, I completely agree that uh, Superman was wasted, for sure. I'm not 100% clear on what the first part is saying. Um, it might be because I'm very, very tired. Uh, hey, Moeller, after re-watching the Justice League again and reflecting from your new video, it's safe to say I was wrong and Snyder is easily the worst one. Hey! Hey! I thought so, too. But they're both terrible. <laughs> I do want to make sure that that's clear. They are very bad. Uh, he can run on clouds in the comics. Really? Damn. Okay then. <laughs> Man, I'd be terrified of like accidentally starting to fly if I were the Flash. Like, there's enough density in the air or something. Uh, why are you hopeful for James Gunn's The Suicide Squad, and are you in interested in Robert Pattinson's Batman? Oh yeah, for sure. I mean, I am very interested. Not only do I think he's a fantastic actor uh, at this point, because I actually like got to see stuff that wasn't Twilight. I'm 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 someone who likes Batman. I like me some Batman. I'll be watching it anyway, just for the just to see what we'll see what they did with their version. Uh, hope it's good. As for uh, why I'm hopeful for James Gunn's The Suicide Squad, I would say because James Gunn made Guardians One and Two, and both of them Those have ensemble good. casts yeah. with fun drama and incredibly good jokes. Like I I am hoping James Gunn can entertain me. <clears throat> 
Um, but of course, it could be shit. You know, we'll have to see. It could be. Uh, Hopefully not. It would be nice to have like really good DC related content. Yeah, I agree. We will drive the Snyder heretics from this chat and retake the SA realm. They will kneel to the length or be sent to their god Zach. Ave Molia. Excellent, excellent chant right there. On top of it. Uh, I prefer my title, the Schnuder Coot. Now in schnitzen mode. God. Uh, fun fact, Warner Brothers tried to make the Green Lantern movie an Iron Man start-off film for the DCEU, but it bombed, and so they went with Man of Steel as their franchise start. Huh. That would have been interesting if the DCEU started with uh, Green Lantern. But I guess it, it feels like it makes the most sense to start with Superman for some reason. I guess all Batman, right? Because they're the biggest ones. Yeah. Uh, Snyder likes his movies like he likes his men. Long and dark. Alright. <laughs> hey, take your word for it. Yeah. Um, I want a rage video on Endgame as it was objectively bad and MCU fans still defend it. Well, yeah, um, it was pretty bad. We, we think it's pretty terrible. We, we, we had the extensive EFAB going over all the problems. The thing with um, making the rage or praise or meh videos or whatever, I have to like want to do it. And if I've got no drive, like, so for example, being angry at Endgame is, it's not quite how I feel about that film. I'm just very disappointed because they had a lot to, like, it's, you know how emotions work. You, you never know yeah. how you're going to react to something. You I knew, as good as Infinity War, even problems and all, they could have done something incredible. Yeah, and so. They tr really tripped on the finish line here. Like, different things give me different emotional reactions, and if it doesn't line up, I can't really make the video uh, as as well as I'd like to. Endgame is fucking frustrating, but uh, um, it was it was more so I was just, like, sad that it wasn't good, rather than, like, pissed off at how shit the writing was. Yeah, I wasn't angry at it, but I was very disappointed. An unbridled sad, Dude. yeah. Uh, also, waiting for Game of Thrones finale, Rage video, um, but you know what? I think I've said before, like, so the way it would work is I would watch that finale, write down as many issues as I, I have with it narratively, re-watch the entire series, and then watch the finale again, and rewrite all those notes, compare them, contrast them, and figure out what I want to say as, like, an ultimate take on a lot of the different things that happen throughout the show. That would be the video. And I do want to do that one day, but there's no fucking way it's going to be anytime soon, and it's going to be funny when it finally releases, because people will be like, oh, he did it. <laughs> He released the episode 6 one. Please release it. You know, one day. I really did feel like the episode 5 one, though, kind of, like, sealed it. I felt like the show was dead once I had made that video. Like, the last episode was obviously terrible, too, but still. Um, What's your most anticipated movie that you guys always wanted to dig into on an EFAP? Most um... Do they mean, like, a, any film that's out that we're looking forward to doing some kind of EFAP stuff on, or do you mean a movie that is yet or to release? Or, like, in the past. Because um, I was super-duper excited for The Rise of Skywalker coming out. Yeah. Uh, and covering that. Um, as for upcoming, I don't know if I have any, honestly. Yeah, I'm trying to think of, like, anything that... I'm like excited to cover on EFAP, because I'm assuming we're excluding stuff like Van Helsing type stuff on EFAP movies, because like I love doing that. Um, Black Widow? I mean, yeah. I'll watch Black Widow, and then it'll make me feel things probably. Don't know what they're going to be yet. And it'll be bad. It'll be if, bad. If I was putting money down, I'd say it's going to be bad. Yeah. Um, But hopefully it's not. Well, I think WandaVision has pretty much made us convinced me of that, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, not not sure. Mortal Kombat movie? That, yeah, that could work. Uh, I feel like we'll, we might do EFAP movies for that. That'd be funny. Uh, we could do the, the classic one and then the new one. Is there a new one? Yeah, there's a new one coming out. A trailer's out. Oh, I had no idea. It looks pretty cheesy or campy, rather, and I, I, I think because Fringy's relatively into Mortal Kombat, so... I have decent Mortal Kombat knowledge. I reckon uh, the rest of you guys are going to have some fun with it, probably. So yeah, we might make that work. Yeah, um, maybe. That would be cool. 
Hold on. Because I don't know anything about Mortal Kombat, so I'm going to go into that. Yeah. Being, like, <laughs> totally fresh. Uh, also, People fighting. Snyder Cut was four hours of me trying to stay awake. I understand that completely. Yeah, I feel you. Uh, fledgling creator, making vids when I can, covered Endgame and TDF. The... what would TDF be? The Dank Forest. Uh, mm. See if chat can make some recommendations, because I always feel like it's... TDF? Like, um, it looks always right in front of me and I never guess it with these... Uh, and would love some constructive criticism. Watch the rampage and I feel justice has been done. DCEU makes me want to dive into a wood chipper. Oof. Well, don't do that. Continue the coverage. Uh, I'm looking out for anybody who might be able to help out what TDF is. Not sure just yet. Are well, people are saying Dark Fate? Terminator Dark Fate. Oh, t yeah, that's, yeah, that's probably it. Um, that's Cinema Sleuth, if you guys want to check out their coverage of Endgame and the Terminator Dark Fate. I keep wanting to say the Dark Fate. <clears throat> Can you blame a film for the characters' names if those names originated in the comics? I don't think Jack Kirby was thinking edgy in 1960s. Why wouldn't there be edgy in 1960s? Yeah. And when do you think Edge was invented? Also, if someone... So if you have a movie that's amazingly written, and you replace all of the character names with stupid edgy names, like, this is Captain Shadowface, I'd just be like, <laughs> okay. Um, I would comment on how that makes it hard to take it seriously sometimes, but other than that, like, I don't... It wouldn't... There's, there's nothing else to it. I'm just making fun of the names. We're not really saying, like, the film is bad because it has an edgy name. Uh, we usually just try to have some fun with it, because everybody's obviously got a different uh, line for what is edgy and what isn't. We had this whole thing with the Darksaber. It's, uh, but I'm pretty sure that edgy existed in the 1960s, you know, plenty of people Definitely. doing some edgy things. Definitely. I love the money pit. That is my answer to that question. Very well. Uh, I, I believe that is a reference to Family Guy. It, it is what's in the clip soon after he says... It insists upon itself. Uh, mutually, I'm at the six minute mark for Godzilla vs. Kong, and sweet jeebus, this needs an EFAP mini. They retconned Kong's island from SE Asia to south of Hawaii. I expect mortism to come. Also, high rags and metal. Hey, uh, yeah, I would not at all be surprised if they retconned stuff to try and even make that somewhat believable of a confrontation. Yeah. I expect that we will watch Godzilla vs. Kong at some point, and we're probably just going to laugh at it. I don't imagine we're going to be doing some kind of deep dive or anything. Uh, hopefully we can have fun with the CGI, you know? Uh, that's that's what we can hope for. I've heard there's more monster stuff in this than was in King of the Monsters, so... Oh, God yeah. forbid. More than, like, 7% of the movie? or Though, uh, and someone mentioned this on Metal Stream, you know how at the end of King of the Monsters there's, like, a whole bunch of cool monsters... In terms of just new stuff. They're all different. And uh, yeah. Rampaging around and stuff. King of Monsters yeah. sucks. That's not really the point. Uh, the, the new film, because, you know, this is about Godzilla versus Kong, you can't really have the other monsters around. Apparently they have, like, a quick title crawl thing to explain that all those monsters are dead. What? <laughs> yeah, apparently. Wow. That's what I've heard. Oh, okay. So I was all just right. like, oh, <laughs> damn. Um, don't know how true oh. that is, chat. Don't believe it. Strictly because I said it, that's what someone said something like that in, in Mel's chat, and I was just like, Jesus Christ, that sounds hilarious. Um, especially because, the well, from what I understood, those monsters were, like, healing the planet according to the end credits of King of the Monsters. Yeah. So, yeah, I, I don't know. Um, again, everyone sounds so shocked by this in chat that I'm like, maybe it's not true, because it really does sound incredibly shocking to me as well. Someone said it is true. It's true. Oh no. Rodan is just fucking dead. Oh man, did they kill Rodan? Like, just off screen? Wow, <laughs> okay. Okay, well, you know, yeah, we'll get to that eventually. Uh, Martian Maneater, or Hunter, it's confusing, help. I mean, I would hope he's not a Martian Maneater, Jesus. What do you think of Zack's storyboard for the sequels, The Dallas Museum? 
I have not seen them. Someone in chat said that they were terrible. I couldn't believe it. I can absolutely believe it. Um, I didn't like your Snyder Cut video because it felt like you were insulting me the whole time and it made me cry. Just kidding, great video, video man. Love you all. Um, yeah, don't worry. If you felt insulted, it's, it's mainly because I was just angry at the movie. You'll be fine. And uh, I'm, glad, I'm glad you enjoyed it. Uh, Dollar, three, Dollar Tree Thanos demands 1.2 billion merwilds. Uh, very well. I don't know if you're trying to say like Dollar Store Thanos. Is that what uh, Darkseid could be called? That might be too offensive for some people. Yeah, that's... Even then, it makes <laughs> me go like, eh, that's a little bit too... Yeah. Uh, EFAP crew, you should check out the X-Men show Legion. I do not know what that is. I don't know what that is either, no. I got no clue. We need Slonal Pokes Justice League and Bowser's Fury, also high rags. Hey there. Slonal Pokes Justice League. I mean, I would watch the, the, the tonal cut of Justice League. I'd give it a shot. The thumbs up, thank you very much. Just wanted yeah, to give money to my boys. Molly, your rampage was well deserved and logical. I didn't like the Justice League Snyder cut. I just, uh, I just don't accept it as a good movie. Neither do I. Neither do fucking all the people who watched it on the EFAB crew. We talked for a while about it, and it's just holy fuck. It's so holy. Uh, I can't believe I'm saying this, but Snyder fans are worse than TLJ fans. Comment section on your rampage video makes me lose even more faith in humanity. Yeah, I'm avoiding it. Um, that video is is going to be a discussion that's a hellhole at this point. I've been sent screenshots, and some of it is unbelievable. I don't even think we had this with the TLJ people, some of the arguments they're making. They'd Probably not. Just stuff is, like, I think this is the worst. It's, yeah. You're not supposed to think about it. It's not supposed to make sense. It's like, oh my goodness. I don't even know why you're in this fucking... Why would you even be on this channel at this point? Um, Admitting can, it so boldly. Yeah. Can you guys watch the Justice League War and the Death and the Rebirth of Superman animated movies to compare to the Snyder Cut? Would love it. Bless the dawn. Uh, I know a lot of people want us to watch, like, other DC content. There's a chance, but at the same time, you know, I don't know about you, Rax, but I, was, I wasn't hoping to stay on the DC arc forever. <laughs> like, nope. This... I am... I am ready to leave. Like, the Snyder Cut was quite the crescendo. Of course, there's still a bit more to do. Like, I, I, I am more than happy to cover some video essays talking about how good Aquaman is, because that movie's amazing uh, in its own way. It certainly is amazing, yeah. But, you know, yeah. Um, we shall see. Uh, bouncing Mola was the best thing to come out of the Snyder Cut. Yeah, that was uh, that was all meme repository. Um that that ending evolved several times over like trying to create it because at first it was supposed to be um I, th I think it was going to be just jay and then i was like would it be funny if um i set jay up and then would it be funny if i was set up by meme repository's ending message to try and combine it all together and yeah it worked out really well i i, I quite liked it as well uh, also, watch DuckTales 2017, best remake in recent years, pays respect to old series while still doing its own thing. Oh. I've, I've heard good things that's... about the new DuckTales. Mm. Oh, so good. Thoughts on films like Upstream Color, Melancholia, or Tree of Life, where by design the plot isn't as much the focus as the experience? Also high rags. Hi. Uh, if I, I know... I know Melancholia and Upstream Color. I haven't seen them. I don't know what Tree of Life is. As for um, if they're like unconventional narratives or whatever, there would still be uh, a through line. There always is with stories. It's kind of what they're about. And so um, I would be interested to talk about them if I see them at some point. Um, but yeah, you can have films that have very little plot. Uh, we were talking about this earlier in, in Fringies or Metal Stream. I always forget. It was... Um, uh, Guardians 2. It's a film with very little plot. Uh, the opening is like the most plot there is, and then they visit Ego, and then uh, Ego gradually becomes, you know, an antagonist. Uh, you don't have to have a lot of plot. This is, there's so much more to talk about. This is the weird thing about, like, holes and contrivances. Everyone assumes they're all boring, like, nerd things, when a lot of the time we like to talk about characters. And, like, that ain't... I don't even boring nerd things, is it? I mean, come on, guys. 
I don't think so. I hope not. If you think so, you're in the wrong business. Uh, Parasite Maxim is a short anime, 24 episodes long. Fair enough. Me watching Rage quietly enjoying. Holy fuck, is it Linkin Park? Back to quietly enjoying. Also high rags. Hey! Um, it is weird how much the floor in the Motherbox world looks like Linkin Park's floor in the in the end uh, video. It is it's almost like the same <laughs> asset. It's really fucking weird. That was not, is that was Zack Snyder's vision. Maybe he really likes Linkin Park, you know? Yeah, man. Uh, hi, Rags. Hey. Have you seen Tonal's new The Last of Us 2 video? I have not. I heard it's not good at all. I have not watched it either, um, but I've not heard good things. Uh, Snyder debate with other content creators when? Uh, could happen. No idea could. when exactly. Um, I think this weekend you guys are getting the meme fap. Uh, while I think I'll try and do possibly another stream on Friday for catching up um, Super Chats again, because me and Ranks are still a little bit behind on these. Got a whole chunk out today, though. Uh, and then the following week, I think we're going to start looking into um, some of the Snyder Cut video essays. There's already many, and... Uh, you know, like the brown table one was was phenomenal, uh, and they're all the polar opposite of mine, basically. Like any one of them is just making the opposite argument to what I make. So it's a uh, it's 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 gonna be an interesting time, I'm sure. Um, I recall you mentioning a ten hour stair climbing cut that would be a far more coherent story with a complete arc than the Snyder cut. <laughs> Listen, if we see that bad go from the bottom of the stairs to the top, something will have been accomplished in that cut, even if it's 10 hours. <clears throat> Continuity. It's underrated. By some people, clearly. Uh, dialogue that makes good people reconsider the First Amendment was my favorite joke from the video I was dying. Uh, yeah, it's just... A lot of these were written really quickly, and uh, I think... Like one of the, there was like three options for that joke, and I went with the First Amendment one. I was just trying to think of like what an extreme could be, and I was like, "What if the freedom to write whatever dialogue you want is now in question as a as a thing you should be able to do?" <laughs> Stop. Yeah. <laughs> um, Snyder debate with Cosmonaut and Brown Table when those two are never going to talk to me from what I would imagine, but uh, I would gladly talk to either of them, especially about the fucking Snyder cut. Holy shit. Yeah, don't hold your breath. That would be an interesting chat, though. Metal's Pinocchio from Disney Bad Cause Not Edgy Vid. Um, yes, he just, you know, just from that video, Pinocchio, in my brain, I constantly picture that fucking face down in the water image. <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> that one sticks with me. That one might make an appearance in a sit in Goodell. Who knows? <gasps> uh, so if the rumors Box are true... Batman helped get Superman killed, left his mother in financial debt, and got his fiancée pregnant. Did he bring Supes back to dab on him with how much he ruined his life? Probably. Oh, God. Oh, yeah, do you know about that? Um, apparently the future plans were... Because uh, Fringy has, has let me know about this more than once, because he is fucking baffled and enraged by it, but... Batman and Lois hook up. Batman dies to protect someone at some point after Superman's come back. Superman and Lois raise Batman's kid to become Bruce Kent, who becomes the new Batman. That was the arc, apparently. Oh! <laughs> huh. How about that? Yeah, I, um, I think a lot of people were like, wow, that sounds so awesome. And then a lot of other people were like, holy fuck. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> hey, man, you know, it's... Creative freedom. Uh, crew of the ship that blocked the canal is Indian. As an Indian, this makes sense. Only we could create a, cra a traffic jam in the bloody ocean. Shake my head. Hmm. Traffic jam in the ocean. It's possible. Um, Batman. Superman is a friend. Also Batman. Doesn't check on his grieving mother and check on Lois to entertain the idea of apocalyptic world. That's something I didn't even bring up, I don't think. Like, you'd think Bruce would have wanted to check on Lois as well. It would have been like... Not just to see if she's okay, but also to talk to her about Clark. To be like, who was he, you know? What kind of man was he? Because I liked him right before he fucking died, so I don't know. 
I love how Diana and Bruce see Victor's dad with the mother box and completely forget about it and never ask him for it until him he himself brings it. I don't remember this. They see Victor's dad with the mother box and completely forget about it and never ask him for it until he brings it. Oh! I don't doubt that probably the, um, happened. The clip of Cyborg being created. The mother box is in that image, isn't it? Oh, fuck. Oh, my so God. they know about that You're mother right. box. That probably... I, I, honestly, I can't be asked to think of where the problems lie specifically on that one. I'm just gonna... I'm, I'm, I'm out. Enough. <laughs> it's probably fucked. Uh, how about we don't put spoils in super chats like fucking idiots? Oh, man. I think that's probably about... One of the things I read out. Winter Soldier, probably, the, the show, I imagine. Or it could be the Attack on Titan. Sorry. Read about as they are, guys. I can't do nothing. Uh, Flash does a time boom. Superman gains a mustache. Okay. <laughs> hmm. That sounds hilarious. Uh, one thing the memes editing has brought back is how many quality moments that there were across the different DCAU shows. Def definite bright spots there. Oh, I'm sure the animated shows have stuff in them that I would be like, man, that was actually pretty awesome. Like, it's it just seems so much more likely compared to the stuff I've been watching in this stupid universe. Um, Wonder Woman killed Ares, and Ares almost killed Darkseid, so Wonder Woman can beat Darkseid with love. That's the thing, she never tried a love laser on Snyder. It's not Snyder, Steppenwolf. <laughs> <laughs> why, why did why no love laser? <clears throat> could she could can she never use the love laser again? Was it only the one time? Perhaps we will get answers for this one day. Maybe. Uh, hi Mola. Hello. Hi Rags. Hi there. Any favorite mythical gods? Anubis is cool. Yes. Um, I like Bacchus a lot. Yeah. Um. Let me see. I got um, I got a thing for Hades. I think he's really cool. Uh, Apollo's kind of nifty. I like Apollo. Yeah, Apollo's cool. There you go. <laughs> yeah, um, I'd have to think about it. I used to doubt, you know, get into mythology more. Uh, yeah, the same for me, like, to, to talk more about, like, a justification why I would be so interested in them or whatever. I, I've always just liked their portrayals in whatever I've seen them in. Uh, I noticed that after the Flash charges Cyborg and Cyborg comes out of the dream, Flash is just gone. He doesn't reappear until Steppenwolf dies, and I wonder where he was. The oh, that's a really good point. Hmm. Because the portal opens he up was... and he has to flash back. Like, where was he? Why'd he leave? He was off camera, so they didn't have to account for his powers. I mean, it's not like he's gonna do any- he's not like you wouldn't go through the portal, right? That would be nuts. Well, because- because remember, he had, he puts his hand on Cyborg. Cyborg goes into the Mother Box world. He- he outwits it with his I don't want to be broken brain, or I'm not broken brain. And then he says, Superman! And Superman comes in, breaks him apart. And then they all look at the portal as it closes, and I think the Flash shows up right before it does close, and it's like, wait, wasn't he there the whole time? Because he would have given the charge? So, yeah, that's a fair question. I'm not sure about that one. Mm, yeah, I don't know. Like, that doesn't cause any problems for I can imagine, but it is really strange, and it might be able to give us some insight on how the things were structured, I guess? I don't know. Uh, it's okay not to like the film, but insulting other critics who liked the Snyder Cut was really corny and unnecessary. You made a two-hour review ranting on nitpicks, and you're unironically calling others pretentious. Crazy. Um, How is it pretentious to talk about plot holes in a say, movie? That's The pretentious people say that shit doesn't matter. Well, this is just an example of someone using the word pretentious and not knowing what it means. <laughs> like the, why would I try to appear as, as anything when just I'm literally just labeling things that are inconsistent? Like... I I am what it is. Like there's there's no smoke screen. If you want to watch my stuff, you'll find out what I discovered didn't make sense. It's as simple as that. And secondly, um the idea that like 
insulting critics who liked the Snyder Cut. I mean, I don't know. I don't, no. Was I ever explicitly saying like, if you like the Snyder Cut, you're like stupid or whatever? I don't, I don't know if I went that far. I was just like the people who were saying this is like amazing. It's not. It's not. If you think it's a, amazing, you you're bad at your job. It's not. It's not really about liking it. It's about claiming that it's really coherent. I I remember specifically saying people are claiming it's coherent, and it's it's just not. It's fucking far from coherent. I I think that might actually be a quote. But um. But all right. Uh, well, Dark Side's lasers either kill you instantly or send you into the Omega Sanction, where you live your life over infinitely, each worse than the last. What the fuck? Now that's edgy. Send you into the Omega Sanction, where you live your life over infinitely, each worse than the last. I don't even. Oh boy, now that is edgy. That's one of the edgiest punishments I've ever heard of that comes out of a fucking laser. That, like, I just, that's amazing. Uh, take up your mother's trident, Spider-Man. I think Spider-Man could rock a trident. I reckon he'd look great. Uh, would you rather binge all Star Trek with Drinker or all of Doctor Who with Jay? Or all of Disney Wars with Rags... Or three random anime with ER. Um, I, I mean, there's fun to be had in all of those, and I'm uh, the problem is I'm like, well, I kind of, I'm interested in seeing all of Star Trek. I don't really want to watch Star Wars again, like all of the shitty, you know. And then three random anime, like fuck that. But I'll hang out with ER. Three random anime. Oof. Can I? Okay, can I watch all I've of Star Doctor Trek? Who with can I watch all of Star Trek with all of these people? How about that? I'm a compromise. <laughs> if, if I had to choose one, I would watch Doctor Who with Jay. Yeah, I mean, that's definitely up there. Uh, according to him, there's, there's a lot of amazing episodes in there, but that kind of goes the same as Star Trek, yeah. so... I wouldn't mind either. Um, what I meant is that it's the same dark in every reality. If, 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 if you... If you're saying there's only one dark side in the multiverse, I don't know how that could possibly make sense. Yeah, what is he in all the other universes? I don't understand. It, does he not exist? What was he, how was he born? Where was he was he born by the I don't I don't even want to. I don't my brain doesn't want to deal with that. I'm sorry. Uh Mola Chickle, you fool, you've been blinded by Rampage. The real consequence of the Flash's time run was Zack releasing his cut. Oh no. Oh my goodness. Why'd you do it, Barry? Why'd you do it? God, Zooks. We'll watch Hentai with Count Dra Dagula. That's, that's like the Oh, option. easily that. <laughs> uh, Mario Sunshine is the worst 3D Mario game. That is probably true. Uh, except, like, the only one that I've played that I might argue otherwise is the first 3D one that was on, like, uh, DS, I think. Well, that was probably still better. The thing is, Mario Sunshine is like the one Mario game that didn't get fully completed before release. That's really rare for Nintendo. Um, I love Mario Sunshine, by the way. Like one is of my Is that a favorite. GameCube release title? I... Maybe? I, I, I can't say. Um, but like, Super Mario Sunshine is fucking fun as hell. And I love the game, but my god, the bugs in that game are insane. Uh, and then, you know, um, but, but this is the thing, I don't know of all of the 3D Mario games. If you're referring simply to, the, like, the mainline series, I'm pretty sure Sunshine is uh, the worst as a video game. It's also got, like, the least content, but uh, I think there's a lot of 3D Mario games, and I haven't played so many of them that I wouldn't really be able to say this with confidence, but fair enough. I'm so disappointed in people gushing at Superman's black suit in Snyder Cut. Even with McComics, it has none of the context of the comic suit and looks nothing like the comic suit. It's pathetic. So this is why me and Rags are really good for this sort of shit. We don't know about any of that. So we see him put on a black suit and we're like, what the fuck? Why? Why? <laughs> and there's nothing. Also, it looks dumb. <laughs> it but... does look stupid. It's like, I, it just feels like someone literally painted their normal thing black. They're like, is this cool? And it's like, oh my god, this is so embarrassing. But okay. 
Yeah, I don't know, man. It's like the comics. That's all right. I love how Flash is basically indestructible in these movies when he can be harmed by bullets in the comics. Love the content, you cheap French harlots. Glad you enjoy. And as we went over earlier, I'm not even sure of what his limits are. So it seems everyone's got different ideas on exactly what, so. Yeah. Um, no, you didn't make a bad review of Avengers Endgame because you were scared of the backlash you were going to get. Stop lying, you're just as disingenuous as the people you accuse others of being. So... I did make a bad review of Avengers Endgame. It's on Moolah. It's one of the highest view count for, like, podcasts, because it, ER was on there and it was uh, Endgame. And if you think that we we're going to have a podcast reviewing Endgame with E-fucking-R of all people and manage to get through it without shitting all over Endgame, like, how? Um, and then if you want to be like, well, you didn't make a Rage video, do you want me to make a list of all of the films I haven't made a Rage video for? If he made a rage video for every bad film, like, he wouldn't be able to. I'd be dead. Like, <laughs> it's not possible. Uh, so, if I remember correctly, we gave Endgame a 6 on what we enjoyed it scale. That is probably, and I think we say this in the stream, that's probably going to sink over time. And I'm sure that it has. As for consistency, yeah. if I remember correctly, we gave it a 3. And at this point, that's probably generous. I'm not sure could be a two at this you know um and if you think that when rags and i give something a two or a three so that's generous that would be wrong also why would you think that i wouldn't do it if i was going to get backlash while simultaneously releasing a video that's probably going to be my least popular video ever in terms of an opinion Zack Snyder's Justice League and Unbridled Rampage is pissing off the internet like why do you think i would do that if i wanted to avoid backlash I don't know if all of that People lines really up, don't like it. <laughs> but hey, you know what? You think that's the case, and that's all that matters. Uh, about to see Kong vs. Godzilla, can't wait to see your take. We will get to it. I, uh, we will get to it. I'm somewhere. My hopes are not high, but I'm interested and curious. Mm -hmm. uh, Mal is an orphan. Can we watch the Snyder Cut pitch meeting on EFAP? I don't know if uh, that they might, because Pitch Meeting is like a huge channel, right? Like I imagine they're copyrighted. A lot of the bigger channels are. Um, but at the same time, I've always thought the Pitch Meeting videos are pretty good. So you guys should just go watch them. And you'll know in your hearts that we would probably laugh at some of the stuff he says. Um, curious if he's critical of the Snyder Cut, though. That would be amusing. Uh, while I enjoyed the Snyder Cut, I do see your point, and I enjoyed your review greatly. I hate how these media manipulate us to ignore obvious errors unless you literally EFAP it. Hey, Rags. Hey! Uh, yeah, part of the goal with a lot of these things is to distract you from noticing the stupid shit. Like, they do obviously want to do that, but they also, at the same time, sort of... There's this sense, and I am assuming this is on set a lot of the time, where someone goes, Hey, person that is in charge of everything, this thing is stupid. And then they'll go, no one's going to care. No one's going to fucking care about that. But you know what? EFAP cares. Uh, Bill Botty Baggity Hello Raggity. Hey! What songs would be in a potential EFAP OST? I can think of Batwoman theme, Avengers theme, Elevator music, etc. Uh, Ocean Man would have to be in there, right? Ocean Man, yeah. Um, the yodeling maybe. <laughs> Just a track oh, of yodeling. Yeah. <laughs> like, um, yeah. I don't know. I uh, th that that's one I'd have to delve deep into the history of EFAP to be able to figure out what ones would be most suitable. Do hi, Mubly. Pick your poison. The only movie you can ever watch again is the Snyder Cut, or the only game you can ever play again is Amnesia Rebirth. Hi, Rags. Hi. But it's easily going to be Amnesia Rebirth because it's a video game, which means I get to fucking do stuff and change things. If I'm cursed to do one of them forever, uh, watching the Snyder Cut doesn't ever change. You know what I mean? Like, at least with Amnesia Rebirth, I can walk around and try and do different things. The game has different endings. You can try and break it and speed run it. Yeah. I feel like the game is always going to win out in that situation. Because there's just so many things you can do. Um. Mm. 
That movie Bob joke in the Unbridled Rage had me rolling, much like movie Bob down any sloped surface. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Um, I like it. Yeah, me and uh, me repository, we were, we were like, what should the visual be? And he at first obviously was like, do we superimpose a move Bob face on top of Barry? And I was just like, have you seen Hellboy? And he was like, no. And then I just said with a picture of what's in the video, and he was like, oh my god, that's perfect. And I was like, yeah, I think it's pretty funny. <laughs> Scrotum song? Yeah, that would be on the, uh, on the OST. Um, Bruce checked on Lois, and they shagged. Hi, Rags. Hi. Yeah, apparently. Snyder Cut is four hours long because it shows and tells, shows you what you need to know, and then tells you in case you're an idiot. <laughs> I mean, um, it's overt, to say the least, but I would say without the overt stuff, I don't think you can uh, fucking infer shit all because you don't know any of these people. That is the problem. Uh, Super Mario Galaxy is amazing. I'm going to take a shower and get ready for the day, so you probably won't be here when I get back. Also, hi, Rags. Hi. Um, just wanted to let you guys know, for my Monster Hunter Rise account, I named my Palamut Rags and my Palico Mauler. Lol, thanks, Wait, Ethan. let me look at Palamut. Palamut. Oh, it's uh, M-U-T-E, by the way, if you... Oh. Palamut? Pal yeah. I'm, I'm assuming it's like a fictional thing. Oh, yeah, I don't even... Mute Monster Hunter. Oh, no. Um... Palamute? It looks pretty cool. Uh, that's apparently... Okay, here we go. Palamute. Oh, okay, I gotcha. Oh, nice little blue ignore that. Boy. That's come out all garbled. <laughs> I, I saw it on the wiki there. Good stuff. Yeah, Um, I know what a Palico is, though. Because I played the Monster Hunter that had that, but didn't have a Palamute in it. Uh... But alrighty then, that, that is, right, so we caught up with this stream and we've managed to knock out the uh, previous EFAP and the Unbridled Rage uh, premiere. Well, folks, Wow. Uh, EFAP will probably, this one will end here. Three hours and twenty minutes to get through them. Nice. Not so bad at all. Before I finish off any ones that come in before we, we go, um, uh, you've got tomorrow a video is coming out. You guys may know very well what it might be may very well may be and then uh saturday will be a meme fap and me and rag's probably going to do another super chat catch up at some point not 100 percent sure when it will be and hopefully if yeah, you didn't sure. know right listening to this there is a new video out on my channel <laughs> it's, um, it's a two-hour rage video have fun if, if if you know uh and of course, I'll just finish off the last ones that came in. Aside from the bugs and level design, Sunshine is the most frustrating to 100% complete. Not hard, frustrating. I still think it's the worst. I remember, you have to collect all the blue coins. It is infuriating. I'm I'm with you, buddy. But at the same time, I played that game when I was a young man. Many times over. I adore it. It makes me feel happy to be in the Sunshine universe. Uh, Isle Delfino is one of the most chill hub worlds in all of gaming. Especially with its uh, song in the background. Would you ever make an Iron Man 3 Rage video? Also, hi, Rags. Hi. I, uh, yeah, there's a good chance I would do that someday. But, um, there's so many new things to do first, I'm not sure I'll ever get to it. But who knows? And finally, hey lads, wanted to know, uh, wanted to know your take on how both jor and Zod have every reason to want the Codex destroyed. Both their motives imply its existence would only get in the way. What do you think? So the codex, Curious. the codex allows you to essentially like, you have the embryo people and you can only birth them with the codex, right? Is that how that works? Uh, yeah, the codex is what lets lets you like make them a particular role, I believe. I think it, it's how, it's how you like program people, right? Yeah, uh, from what I understand, Zod wants the codex because he. He's a big fan of everybody being engineered for particular roles. I guess. He's uh, he's on board with that. So I, I'm not sure what the reasoning is. Uh, as for Jor-El, uh, maybe. The only reason Jor-El would probably be against it is if you can birth the Kryptonians without the Codex defining their role. At that point, I wouldn't be surprised if, uh, if Jor-El would want to do it, you know, au naturel, well, the equivalent with the embryo things. I don't really know. I would. 
It's, um, uh, I don't really know what either of them are necessarily going to do with it, but I wouldn't have thought they would want to destroy the Codex. I, I, I don't think so, but perhaps there is an argument for it. Either way, uh, thank you all for watching, and I suppose we will catch you next time. Yeah, good night. Bye-bye.